Alright. Are you guys all ready? Are you guys all ready? Do the hamster dance? Am I muted? No. Okay. Are you guys ready? No, we are not ready! Alright. Okay. Sorry, I sorry I didn't mean to hit the mic. Alright. I was born ready. <laughs> Why are you people leaving? Alright everyone. Alright everyone. Time to bibidi bapi bapi bido bapi dido do out of here. <laughs> it took about three times but I got to it. <clears throat> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people here. Okay, let's have a BGM in. Let's all let's all get a couple minutes for those who are gonna be joining us soon to come in here when they can. Let me read all the chants before this. This is gonna be our last time. I mean, for sure. Um, apparently, there's some people out there that have never actually seen the B movie, and and there are some who have not seen it since they were a child and may not quite remember it. Um, I, however, did extensive research. Not extensive research, per se. I, I, I rewatched it again and, oh my god. I watched it like a week ago when I wanted to do this idea. Stalling! <laughs> I, I'm just, you know, I need to do things like congratulate the pod champ of the day. Oh, wait, shit, you know what? I forgot, I forgot one thing too. This is gonna be an ASMR stream. Uh, that's the plan. I have not seen the B movie. Stall V. <laughs> I'll leave you were so rude to me. All right, Chad. This is gonna be the first time in a long time I'm gonna have my stream be decibels lower than 12. I have tried to adjust my level so I could pick it up without any annoying sound bits. And and I am ready. I feel my silly levels rise. <laughs> Good, because they they will um your funny bone will be hit plenty of times during this stream. I did my tongue twisters, I did my vocal warm-ups, I got two jugs of water with me, I got a soda can or a pop or a coke, which it actually is a coke today for some of you guys. Shout out to the Pog Champ of the Day, Nayuni. I hope you yell really loud. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, throughout this whole stream, will be able to uh, play sound alerts in there. If you guys want, I can make the booing noise and the cheering sound effect cheaper. But I thought against it because this is supposed to be an ASMR stream. Some people are supposed to go to sleep to this. So I think it's about time I put on my special BGM. The night time. Do it, coward. I can't. I I would love to if it's your, some of people's here's first time uh watching the B movie through this ASMR reading. <laughs> no, welcome. This is not a Twitch name. Avi's only Mike is the one with ears. She said it makes her feel like she speaks to someone. Wait, what do you mean my mic is the one with ears? Oh my god, you mean like the 3DO mic? I don't have that one. I don't know if I want that one. I know for sure I have little siblings in here that will want to have so many questions with it. With my Go XLR setup, I already have a cousin that is less than 10 years old and he's like, is that a voice changer? What the fuck kind of YouTube videos are he watching where he knows about voice changers? Do not lick the mic? Oh, you're tempting me. Add a fart with reverb point with you. No, don't have it yet. I don't want one. Spit field eardrums. <laughs> Anyways, let me say a good warm welcome to everyone for coming in. Um, there will be some nice background noises. I will have some uh, voice, only two voice changes in here. No background changes because um, the slides had a little bit of a hiccup. No one really uses image slides, so they don't know. Uh, welcome Damon. Welcome Bryce Cake. Welcome OG Tube. Uh, welcome to Linka, who is crying and pointing. Welcome homunculus. Homuncul this is my last warm-up setup, so I'm getting really ready. This grip, you will see how long it is. You will see how uh, hard these vocals will work. Welcome potatoes for breakfast. 
OG Tube, I'm ready for her to replace every instance of B with Mexican Honey Wasp. Unfortunately, I wish I was funny enough to have thought of that. Since this is a B movie, can you drink a sip of raw- what the- Azeron, I- Azeron, I- What the hell does Egg have to do with a B movie? Alright, elaborate. Hi, Hyper Wasp. How is you today? I am not hyper today. I am calm. I am inner peace. I can enunciate my words. I have to speak slowly because I finally listened to an audio playback of myself and I realized how nasally mispronunciating of the words and stumbling upon the letters that I am. Where's the weird screen effect? What do you mean? Oh, you mean the script? It's all about the honey. I agree, TM Pop. Oh, oh, let me go uh, sip for Azra and I. I didn't see that there was a hydration redeem. Bees will have to swallow entire eggs with the sh- Are you- Huh? You're- I'm not supposed to have my uh, decibels raised too high. But what the hell are you talking about? I'm ready for the surprise metal pipe redeem. That would be really bad, but extremely funny. It's okay, my French ass does the same. Your, your French? Alright gamers, here is the challenge for all of us. You are gonna say the funniest things in chat, which you always do. And I will try not to lose it in case there are people listening to this. In the middle of their night. This is for the Euro Bros. This is their stream today. It's always been their stream. But now today is their stream. For the sleepy ones. <sniffs> Nasal wasp. So true. Alright gamers. It proved. <laughs> Happy Easter everyone. Welcome Nick. Welcome hater of bugs. Welcome, Madman Marcuson. Welcome, Atheist Paladin. This is the one and only stream. You guys can make your bee jokes, and I will have to laugh. Sorry, itchy nose. Allergies. Welcome, sleepy ladies. Welcome, I'm bored as hell. Welcome, uh, me, Nayu, Alice, uh, Cold Bloodify, uh, Zombie Fox, uh, <laughs> I'm sure it wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> Terrible. No, son. You offended the sun god. I, 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 you're not, you're not incorrect. But I do love the sun. Oh, don't worry. Chat will behave. This is why I hate all of you. <laughs> None of you guys are going to see the gates of heaven. Um, anyways. Oh, Pixel Alex as well. All right, there you go. I think I thanked everyone. All right, everyone. Urimani soup as well. Avi, are you a VTuber? Or a VTuber? Alright. I'm gonna go lower the hater redeem. I think I will do that. Just for a little bit. But that's it. But that's it. Alright, chat? Alright. Alright. That's it. Hi, Avi. Happy to be here. Alright. Okay. It seems you guys are getting a little bit uh, uh, excited about these puns. <laughs> this might be a bad idea. Alright, uh, but you know, this is the only stream. This is the only stream I'll, I'll be forced to laugh at them. Then afterward, it's not funny. Banned for life. But not today. Not today. Okay, hold on. Where's the boo redeem? Where's the boo redeem? Where's the boo redeem? Audience boo. Edit. Four. So it's originally 10,000. So let's make it. I don't want to make it five. I guess I'll make it five thousand. There you go. Fifty percent discount. I think that's how fifty percent works. Avi, all right. I agree with that. All right, everyone. Now it is going to be the sound of the muted BGM and and the B movie script. All right. Are you ready, everyone? Everyone, stay calm. Enjoy and have. And, and come back in a couple hours to see if I finished it. 
<laughs> I'm excited. Mouse clicking ASMR. It is. I am excited to read the B movie for you, Chad. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> um. Oh, wait, why is it white? Wait, hold on. I mean, hold on, everyone. There seems to be some scuffed issue in here that I didn't account. Why does it look like that? Huh? Huh? What? Huh, this is interesting. But no worries. We'll just fit the script. What the? Huh? Hello? Why is it a rectangle? Who hacked into my mainframe? Uh, hello? Hello? He hello? Scuffler? No, no scuffler. Huh? 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 What's happening, chat? Why is it blurry? Huh? What the? This is okay, chat. We will deal with this. This is okay. We'll simply switch to that one and then go to this one. And it'll fix it. Nope, nope. That didn't work either. Put in ASMR. What the fuck is an ASMR? I deleted Avi. <laughs> what the fuck is an ASMR uh, background? There's no background. Uh, unless you want me to play brown noise. I'll play brown noise for chat. Work, work. <laughs> There's stuff in the background. No, there's not. No, it's not anything. I am supposed to be so normal right now. There you go. I fixed it. I don't know how I did it, but I, f I don't know how it broke. But I fixed it. Wait, fuck. There. 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 You guys don't know the background. Alright, I fixed it. Nothing was broken. Nothing was broken, Chad. Nothing was broken. Alright. I'm gonna get ready to fix it now. Alright. Are you guys excited? For the bee movie. <clears throat> <clears throat> Lo-fi hip-hop beast to lose all hopes to. No. Alright. 8.30.07. Final version. This material is the property of DreamWorks Pictures and is intended and restricted Solely for DreamWorks Pictures personnel. Think of this guys as the intro in every DreamWorks movie, but instead of the the moon guy, you see this. All right. Um, distribution or disclosures of this material to unauthorized personnel is prohibited. Huh. The sale, display, uh, copying, or reproduction of this material for any reason, in any form, included but not limited to digital or new media, is also prohibited. Welcome, Cappy Six. Sorry, I was supposed to keep going on, but welcome. Alright. Cold opening. Okay, let's see if this presentation will work. Fuck, it didn't work. Okay, that's good, that's good. Everyone close your- there it is. <laughs> According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to- Why? Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyways. <laughs> Because bees do not care what humans think is possible. Alright. At least that worked. Alright. <clears throat> Sequence 75. Intro to Barry. Int. Benson's house. Day. Angle on. Sneakers on the ground. Do I have to read the, uh... I'm gonna kill all of you, chat. I'm gonna kill every single one of you guys. I might as well just put this down. <laughs> How did you guys type this all out? Hello, Abby. Welcome. Welcome to the ASM live stream. Chat. Chat be normal. Chat. 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 We're, we only went one frame into this and everyone's freaking out. Alright, let's keep going. Do I have to read the uh, action? The action lines? 
you have to read every word do we agree with this chat do we agree with this do i have to read the angles as well yes yes nodders two nodders absolute oh mm. this might be a little bit longer than usual for the blind chatter <laughs> yes read the stage direction all of it everything Avi, put one hour of silence occasionally broken up by metal pipe on in the background. That would be really funny. No. Oh my god. 60% of the combo point of the points back? That's funny. Okay, right, let's go. Alright, sneakers on the ground. Camera pans up to reveal Barry Benson's bedroom. Barry's hand flipping through different sweaters in his closet. Yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black, yellow black. Ooh, black and yellow. Barry wearing the sweater. He picked, looking in the mirror. Barry continued. Yeah, let's shake things up a bit. He picks the black and yellow one. He then goes into the sink, takes the top off a container of honey, and puts some honey into his hair. He squirts some in his mouth and gargles. This sounds really disgusting when he's describing it. Then he takes the lid off the bottle and rolls on some deodorant. Some like de deo uh, Sorry, let me do that again. Then he takes the lid off the bottle and rolls some on like deodorant. Cut to... Um... <laughs> in t interior Benton House Kitchen. Continuous. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Where's my bedroom? Where's my bedroom? Where's my bedroom? Um, Barry's mother, mother, Janet Benson, yells up at Barry. Barry! Oh, Janet Benson. Barry, breakfast is ready. Cut to int Barry's room continuous. Barry, coming! SFX, phone ringing. Barry's antenna vibrate as they ring like a phone. Barry's hands are wet. He looks around for a towel. Barry can't. Hang on a sec. He wipes his hand on his sweater. You know what? I'm gonna change things up a bit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna change things up a bit. Let's crop out the script like this. So that you guys can see the background that I worked hard to do. Um, he wipes his hands on his sweater and pulls his antenna down to his ear and mouth. Hello? His best friend, Adam Flayman. Is this a pun? You should have a bee emoji pinned to your hair for this. That is actually really smart. I like that idea. Um, can someone send a transparent bee emoji on the Discord? Uh, and just ping it to me. Alright, he wipes his hand on the sweater and pulls his antenna down to his ear and mouth. Barry Kant. Hello? <laughs> um, <laughs> his- oh wait, I read you at this. Barry? Barry? Adam? Adam? Can you believe this is happening? Can't- Barry? Can't believe it. I'll pick you up. <clears throat> Barry sticks a singer in a sharpener. <laughs> Sound effects. Buzzing as his stinger is sharpened. He tests the sharpness with his finger. As effects, bing, very constant, looking sharp, angle on, very hovering down the hall, sliding down the staircase banister, Barry's mother, Janet Benson, uh, is in the kitchen. Janet Benson, Barry, why don't you use the stairs? Your father paid good money for those. Barry, sorry. I'm excited. Why do they have stairs? Barry's father, Martin Benson. Accents are the accents. All right, if you guys have never watched the B movie, um, the mother does actually have a bit of a, a New York uh, uh, a house, a bit of an accent like that. I will try my best to do this thing. Um. <clears throat> That is not a bee emoji, uh, Nyan. Alright, let's keep reading. Um, ba uh, Barry's father, Martin Benson, enters. He's reading a newspaper with the headline, Queen Gives Birth to Thousand Tuplets. 
resting comfortably. Huh, isn't that crazy? They gave the headline for that. Is the mic fine for everyone? What happened? Uh, Martin Benson. Here's the graduate. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. And a perfect report card. All bees. Mushing Janet Benson. Mushing Barry's hair. Very proud. Barry. Ma, I've got a thing going here. By the way, I never watched Seinfeld. I don't know who any of these people are. Any of the voice actors who did any of these roles. But most of these guys were in Seinfeld or worked with that man at least once. I sent the bee emoji in the images channel. Alright, got you. I will do so. Oh my god, that is not even transparent. I'm gonna kill you all of you guys. I'm gonna kill all of you guys. <laughs> Just keep reading. Sorry, I had background noises of my own. No, not Barry Springer. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springtrap? Alright. Um, Barry readjusts his hair, starts to leave. Janet Benson, you've got some lint on your fuzz. She picks it off. Barry, ow! Ow, that's me. Martin Benson, wave to us. We'll be in row, row 118,000. Barry zips off. Barry, bye. Janet Benson, Barry, I told you, stop flying around the house. Cut to sequence 750, driving to graduation. <gasps> All right, next slide. There you go. It worked. Uh, exit. B suburb. Morning. A garage door opens. You know what? Why are you guys taking so much of the screen? I should remove you to the corner. Vanish. Give me this away. I paid good money for this. <laughs> How would you kill us? I don't know yet. Mine was up to a requirement. It, it unfortunately did, but that is not an emoji. And I'm going to kill you for that. Anyways, um, the garage door opens. Barry drives out in his car. Uh, angle on. Barry's friend, Adam Flayman. Why is his name Flayman, chat? Why is his name Flayman? Um, standing by the curb. He's reading a newspaper with the headline, Frisbee hits hive. Internet down. B standard. I heard a sound, and next thing I knew, whammo. Barry drives up. Stops in front of Adam. Adam jumps in. Barry, hey Adam. Adam, hey Barry. Pointing at Barry's hair. Is that Fuzzdale? Barry, a little. It's a special day. Finally graduating. Adam, I never thought I'd make it. Barry, yep. Three days of grad school, three days of college. Adam, those are so. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I said it wrong. Hold on, sorry, excuse me. Can you speak up? It sounds like you're whispering. I'm not allowed to. Barry, yeah, three days of grade school, three days of high school. Adam, those days were awkward. Barry, three days of college. I'm glad I took a day off in the middle and just hitchhiked around the hive. Adam, you did come back different. They drive by a bee who's jogging. Artie, hi, Barry. Barry, to a bee pedestrian. Hey, Artie, growing a mustache? Looks good. Barry and Adam drive from the suburbs into the city. Adam, hey, did you hear about Frankie? Barry, yeah? Adam, you going to his funeral? Barry, no, I'm not going to his funeral. Everyone knows when you, you sing someone, you die. You don't waste it on a squirrel. He was such a hothead. Adam, yes, I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. They drive through a loop-de-loop. Whoa, whoa, wee. Adam, I love this incorporating the amusement park right into our regular day. Barry, I guess that's why they say we don't need vacations. Cut to sequence 95, graduation, exit graduation ceremony, continuous. Barry and Adam come to a stop. Uh, they exit the car and fly over the crowd to their seats. Barry, re-graduation ceremony. Boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. What does that mean? Um, they land in their seats. Avi sounds so dead doing this. You don't gotta commit to this if this is not your jam. What do you mean? This is ASMR. What do you expect me to do? I can't. 
I can't have a decibel too high than everything. Everyone wants me to read the direction. <laughs> well, this now thing that is happening that I and everyone else in chat is a participant in. Yeah, we need more questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's the worst dream. Who is it? Azeron said worst dream of the year. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry too that I was trying to go to sleep. Who's Obi Limes? Oh wait, that's an emote. If a bee dies while stinging someone, is it a stinger side? Oh, because it's like suicide and homicide. Why are you guys saying I'm dead? Alright, alright. Okay, okay. Okay, let's keep doing this. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm so sorry for those listening for the ASMR experience. Avi, you don't gotta come in. What the fuck? I'm only barely on P. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Um, Barry and Autumn come to a stop. They exit the car and fly over the crowd to their seat. Barry, boy, quite a bit of pomp under the circumstances. They land in our seats. Barry, well, Adam, today we are men. We, Adam, we are. Barry, B, men. Adam, A, men. Barry, hallelujah. Um, she only got 146 pages. Abby, can you do ASMR but a bee stings you? No, what the, what does that mean? <laughs> Dies because I'm allergic. I don't think I'm allergic. I think uh, my family is, but not me. But you can never be too sure. Alright. Uh, Barry hits Adam's forehead. Harry goes into the rapture. And an announcement comes over to the PA voice. To the PA. Um. Announcer. Students. Faculty. Distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean, Dean Buswell. Fuck. Alright. Alright, guys, there's gonna be one with the mic- with the microphone, so, um, for those listening for the ASMR, this might be a little bit- a little bit louder. The podium- Podium, podium has, has a sign. <laughs> the podium has a sign that reads, Welcome graduating class of the train station style- Style flipping numbers after it. Welcome! <laughs> Well, well, then. New, New Life City, City graduating class of... The numbers of the podium changed to 915. Buzzwell, con... <laughs> Sorry, you laughed when I say continue. 915. <laughs> he clears his throat. And that concludes the graduation ceremony and begins a career at Onyx Industries. Are we going to pick our job today? Adam, I heard it's just orientation. The Rosa chair is changed into a Transformers-like mechanic motion to the Universal Studios-type tour trams. Wait, that's actually how they described it in the movie? That's actually really funny. Does anyone else want to help me put a heap beehive in the box, shake the box, and throw it into Obi's window? <laughs> it's giving graduation speak. It's unusual that the bee isn't yell yelling into our ears. Yeah, you better enjoy it now. Barry. Oh, heads up. Here we go. Female voice. Veal. Keep your hands and antennas. Inside the tram at all times. In sp oh, fuck. Uh, do I use the echo again? No, 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 no. Dejan las manos y antenas adentro del tram a todos tiempos. Oh. <laughs> so cool that they have uh, Spanish bees in the hive, and that's it. English and Spanish are the only two languages that exist in this world. My eardrums are bracing for impact. I'm sorry. Start over from the beginning? I don't think they said fuck in the script. I can miss it. I hate you guys. Spanish reps is real. Hey man, I wish they got my Duolingo in without even noticing. Okay. Barry, I wonder what it's like. Adam, a little scary. Ad Barry shakes Adam. Barry and Adam. <laughs> the tram passes undersigned reading Honix, a division of Honisco, a part of the Hexagon group. Trudy, welcome. <clears throat> I'm supposed to. Don't 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 don't. There you go. There there you go. There I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm me. Um. There you go. That's why. That's why. Um. Welcome to Honex, a division of. That's too high. A division of Honexco, a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. The Honex door opens, revealing the factory. Barry continued. Wow, Judy. We knew that you. 
We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive where our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble contoured into this. Trudy grabs a test tube of honey from a technician. The soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow. You all know less. Everyone say it with me now. In unison. Honey! Her name could have been Truby. That is really bad. I actually like that. That, that is a missed opportunity. Without, without effect. I'd love it, Avi. Just read us a bus schedule. What the fuck are you saying? You saying you'd like me more if I had a higher voice? Of course you did. You scum. <laughs> Just kidding. Trudy flips the flask into the crowd and laughs as they all scramble for it. Ingolon, a girl bee catching the honey. Oh god, here's my favorite part, chat. Adam Sato. What the hell's a Sato, chat? That girl was hot. Barry. She's my cousin. Adam, she is? Barry. Yes, we're all cousins. <laughs> Adam. Right, you're right. Judy. At honey. Oh, fuck. Isn't that so weird, chat? Why do they do that? Judy. At Hunix, we also constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are just testing a new helmet technology. Ingolon, a sun bee in a helmet, getting hit with a newspaper. Then a shoe, then a fly swatter. He gets up and gives a thumbs up. The graduate bees applaud. Adam, re bee. What do bee. What do you think he makes? Barry, not enough. Judy. And here we have our latest investment, the Krellman. Well, what does that do? Uh, <clears throat> this is cringe. Why is that a joke here? I have no idea why that is a joke here. Also, Aska, I'm gonna have to ask you to. No, I'm gonna have to tell you, perish for making that joke and that emote at the same sentence. Anyways, um, the crowd. Oh, hold on, sorry. Well, what does that do? Catches that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Oh, that is the wrong effect. Sorry, sorry, Chad. Angle on the Kremlin machine. Bees with hand-shaped hats on, rotating around a wheel to catch drifts of honey. Adam's hand shoots up. Can anybody work on the Kremlin? Judy? Of course. Most bees' jobs are small ones, but bees know that with every small job, if it's a job well done, it means a lot. I missed out of so badly. There are over 3,000 different bee occupations, but choose carefully. Because you'll stay in the job that you pick for the rest of your life. The bees cheer. <laughs> Isn't that a sad sentence to read afterward? I'd be nice, bit. Where's the rest of shame? What do you mean, where's the rest of shame? This is all we have planned right now. This is what we're going to do for the rest of the day. This is the entire Monday stream. Sorry, suckers. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't have been born in the universe where they have one day dedicated to make a tomfoolery of yourself. Maybe, maybe you shouldn't have... Never mind. Never mind. I wish Avi was seeing the troublemakers with a knife, so they die. <laughs> Avi, bite the curve? Well, how dare you? Uh, just ASMR stream. Alright. Um. Where was I? Barry's smile dropped. Uh. Oh, shit. Okay. Inglon. Barry's smile dropping slightly. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. Adam, what's the difference? Trudy. And you'll be happy to know that's. These other species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. Barry, so you'll just work us to death? Trudy? <laughs> we'll sure try. Sorry, they said laughing and I didn't know what a... I can't laugh on command, Chad. We discussed this. I'm never able to do that. Sorry if that was loud. Alright, um, don't ever... <laughs> Don't ever laugh like that again. How many wasps were harmed in the making of this dream? Oh, so many. One special wasp died today for for, for, for today's special day. Alright, the champs dropped down a log fume, flume type steep drop. Cameras flash and all the bees throw up their hands. That frame freezes into a snapshot. Barry looks concerned. The tram continues through two doors. Form dissolved to sequence 175, walking the hive. Chat, we're doing good, chat. We're getting through the script. We're on page... We're on page 10. It was good, don't worry. Oh, thank you, Yuri. You're so nice. The kindest, nicest wasp lover. 
Damn, that is so sad. How many people here are experiencing B-movie the first time through the script? Rip Barry, he was a real one. So he'll just work for- <laughs> Sorry, that he was too funny. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's supposed to be quiet and nice and calm and occasionally play the regular nice ASMR can sounds. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> right, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, all right, all right. The trans is okay with this. Okay. Ing along the log boom photo as Barry looks at it. Adam, wow, that blew my mind. Barry, annoyed. What? Sorry, I don't know how to do a like a sign field guy. What's the difference? Adam, how could you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to make. Adam, well, I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. Barry, but Adam, how could they never told us that? Adam, Barry, well, why would you question everything? We're bees! We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. They walk by a newspaper sandwich sand hold on. They walk by a newspaper stand with a sandwich board reading Bee goes berserk. Sting seven, then self. Oh? Oh, Chad? How are the criminals in this world? What? 1984! I mean, maybe do highlights of the B-movie? What do you mean do highlights of the B-movie? We're getting- the, everything's a highlight. Is that a movie su murder-suicide? I never noticed that joke. Yeah, it's in a- it's in a sandwich sign. Sandwich board. Angle on. A bee filling his car's gas tank from a honey pump. His, he fills his car some, then takes a swig for himself. Wait, how come the cars operate on honey and how come it's also edible too? Newspaper guy. To the bee guzzling- <laughs> To the bee guzzling gas. Hey! Barry and Adam begin to cross the street. Barry, yeah, but Adam, did you ever think that maybe things work a little too well around here? They stop in the middle of the street. The traffic moves perfectly around them. Adam, like what? Give me one example. Barry, thanks. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. They walk off. You guys would not be able to know what this joke means visual without seeing it visually, and I am so sad. You guys need to go ahead and make it a, a plan to watch the B, B movie with me. <gasps> Welcome, Conal. Conal underscore Cernich just shared 100 bits. Thank you for the 100 bits, Conal. Are you telling me you never took just a little sup of petrol when filling up your motor vehicle? <laughs> Absolutely never, Conal. I buy the petrol juice in the petrol store, duh. <laughs> Alright, um, what was I saying? Okay. Uh, sequence 400. Oh, oh, meet the jocks. Okay, what you don't know about the jocks segment is that one of the guys I think looks like Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Is it so funny? SFX, the sound of pollen jocks. Pan down from the Hunnic statue. Uh, J Gate announcer. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Barry, wait a sec. Check it out. Hey, hey, those are pollen jocks. Adam, wow. Four patrol bees fly in through the hive's giant gothic entrance. The patrol bees are wearing the fighter pilot helmets with black visors. Adam, I've never seen them this close. Barry, they know what it's like to go outside the hive. Adam, yeah, but some of them never don't come back. Alright, let me take a moment to hydrate you. I am blah, 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 blah. How dare you? Oh no, I'm so sad. I had to watch the bee movie with the cool Stuima. <laughs> it is a movie you guys need to see once. Not because it's good, but because it was interesting. Let me go drink. Mm -hmm. ah! Alright, Chad, let's keep going. Now we know about the bee jocks. The nectar from the pollen jocks is removed from their backpacks and loaded into trucks on their way to Hunnix. A small crowd forms across the patrol bees. Each one has a pit crew that takes their nectar. Low, low, low to come? Lulodica, you hurries up. How come his name doesn't have a B pun? What's wrong with this guy? Um, Lulodica, you guys did great. You mo- Oh, this is a little small guy. You guys did great. You monsters. You sky freaks. I love it. I love it. He has kind of a weird accent. I don't know where it is. School. There's schoolgirls. 
Schoolgirls are jumping up and down and squealing nearby. Barry, I wonder what these guys have just been. Adam, I don't know. Uh, Barry, their day's not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. Adam, you can't just decide one day to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Barry, right. Pollen jocks cross in close proximity to Barry and Adam. Some pollen falls off onto Barry and Adam. Barry, look at that. That's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. Adam, playing with the pollen. It's just a status symbol. I think bees make too big a deal out of it. The pollen? Barry, perhaps. Unless you're wearing it. And Lainey see you wearing it. The, the two girl bees angle on. Adam, those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? Barry, distant, distant. Who? Huh? Who? Huh? What's going on here, Chad? Angle on, two pollen jocks. Jackson, look at these two. Splinch, couple of my berries. Jackson, let's have some fun with them. The pollen jocks appear. Um, uh, Barry and Adam continue to talk to the girls. Girl one, it must be so you're dangerous. Ugly, to... You're disgusting. I'm gonna kill you. Give me two hundred dollars. How could you do this to me, Barry? Uh, girl one, it must be so dangerous. Oh fuck! You know what? I'll use the voice again. It must be so dangerous being a pollen jock. Barry, oh yeah, one. Oh. Barry, oh yeah, one time a bear had me pinned up against the mushroom. He had one paw in my throat, and with the other he was slapping me back and forth across the face. Um, girl. Oh my- girl one. Oh my god! Oh fuck, wrong one. Oh my! Avi, are you fucking serious? What did I do? What did I do, chat? Uh, Barry, I never thought I'd knock him up. Girl two, to Adam. Uh... <clears throat> what, what are you doing? <laughs> Everyone's gone berserk. I just love how committed to the bit Avi is. Sorry, I accidentally keep smashed. Uh, let me speak! Alright, um, Adam, obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. Wait, am I still in my girl voice? No, oh, I accidentally just. There you go. There you go. Alright. Hey, what were you doing during all of this? Uh, obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. The girl swipes and falling off of, Ad of Adam with a finger. Very. Re pollen? I can autograph that if you want. The the pollen? Jackson, little gushy out here today, wasn't it, comrades? Barry, yeah, gusty. Buzz. Ah, his name is Buzz. It's so funny. That's so funny. Avi, you should quit being a pollen jock and be a be, become a VTuber. <laughs> I like that. Mods, can we lower the boo just for the stream only? No. Buzz, you know, we're but we're going to hit a sunflower patch about six miles from here tomorrow. Barry, six miles, huh? Adam whispering, Barry. Buzz, it's a puddle jump for us, but maybe you are not up for it. Barry, maybe I am. Adam, you are not. Buzz, we're going 0900 at J Gate. Adam, re J, re J Gate. Whoa. Buzz leaning in on top of Barry. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Um, what do you think, Buzzy boy? Are you be enough? Barry, I might be. It all depends on what. 0900 means haha <laughs> you get it because 0900 means a uh, buzz per hour and he doesn't get it i don't know cut to sequence 450 the balcony what was the joke here <laughs> anyways uh int benson's house okay next screen wrong one actually no that's the right one all right int barry benson's balcony lady barry is standing on the balcony alone <laughs> Go looking over the city. Martin you're Benson. Ugly, you're disgusting. I'm gonna Martin kill Benson you. enters, sneaks up behind Barry, and gooses him in his. How do you goose someone in the rib? Martin Benson. Hot eggs! Barry. Oh, Dad, you surprised me. Martin Benson. Have you decided what you're interested in, son? Um, uh, well, there's a lot of choices. Um, Martin, but you only get one. Martin laughs. Barry. Uh, Dad, do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Martin Benson. Son, let me tell you something about stirring. Making the stirring motion. You grab that stick, and you just move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. Barry. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. And, and Martin Benson. 
and you were thinking of making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Obvious failing in the first five minutes of the movie is over. You know, Chad. You know, I have the opportunity to do a funny thing right now. You know, um, how do I say this without uh, alerting the guards? We could read the whole script, or I have the opportunity to do something very funny, very funny relating to this. You know, now that you now now that Twitch pops in and out, or rather, how do I say this? How do I say this? How do I say this? Hey, chat, wink, wink. How do I say this, chat? We could read the script, and we could see how uh. We could read the script, or, you know. No, I should not. I should not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be doing funny things. I don't know about. What do you mean? I was enjoying it. Thank you, Scepter. All right. Hold on. Martin Benson. Janet, your son's not sure what he wants you to go into, honey. Janet Benson. Oh, Barry, you're so funny sometimes. Barry, I'm not trying to be funny. Martin Benson, you're not funny. <laughs> this is time right now. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son disturber. Janet Benson, you're going to be a starber. Barry, no one's listening to me. Martin Benson, wait until you see the sticks I have for you. Barry, I can say anything I want right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Janet Benson, let's open some fresh honey and celebrate. God, these people don't eat anything, huh? Barry, maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Which one's the thorax? Um, which one's the thorax? This is the butt, right? I mean, is this bit or for reals? Maybe put a sticky note on your jacket that says B and call it a day. But we're barely one hour. <clears throat> but we're barely one hour into the stream and you already want me to end stream. What's wrong with you? Bye. Throat. What the f a stinger in the th No, I won't say. Martin Benson toasting. To honey. Barry, shave my antenna. Janet Benson. To honey. Isn't that part of his. Huh? Barry, shack up with a grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and start calling everybody dog. Huh? Anyways, cut to job placement. Does anyone here actually watch Seinfeld? How was uh sign how was Jerry Seinfeld? Did anyone at one point like Seinfeld? I know there's a whole controversy where he dated like a sixteen year old or something, but 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 did anyone here was old enough to experience Seinfeld? Like in his peak? Alright, hold on, let me transition again. There you go. Alright. A foolish endeavor, but an endeavor nonetheless. I am. It's fun. One hour already, that was fast. <laughs> Looking back, Jerry wasn't that great of a comedian. Yeah, I heard now all he does is the What's wrong with the woke mob these days? What's wrong with everything? Not like us back then. We were so cool and swag. At least last time I checked. Uh, I enjoy foolishness. Thank you, Scepter. Alright, continuous. Angle on a bee bus stop. One group of bees stands on the pavement. As another group hovers above them, a double-decker bus stands up. The hovering bees get on the top level, and the standing bees get on the bottom. Barry and Adam pull up outside of the Honix. Adam, I can't believe we're starting work today. Oh, sorry, that was my email. Uh, Barry, today's the day. Uh, and Adam jumps out of the car. Adam, oh, see. Oh, off camera. Come on, all the good jobs are gone. Barry, yeah, right. Angle on, a board reading. Job placement board. Uh, Buswell, the bead producer, is at the counter. Another B applicant, Sandy Shrimpkin. Shrimpkin? Is it exiting? Sandy Shrimpkin. Is it available? Buswell, hang on. She looks at changing numbers on the board. Two left, and one of them is yours. Congratulations, Sean. Shift to the side, please. Sandy Shrimpman. Yeah. Adam to Sandy, leaving. Um, what did you get? Sandy Shrimpkin, picking the crit out. That is stellar. Adam, wow. Buzzwell to Adam and Barry. Couple of nudie, new, newbies. Adam, yes sir. Our first day. We are ready. Buzzwell, well, step up and make your choice. Original character, Willie W. Wallace. What are you guys yapping about right now? Avi, put yourself in 5x speed and we might finish this before you die of old age. 
<laughs> You're telling me to speak fast in real time? Angle on a chart listening to the different detectors of Hanex. Heating, cooling, viscosity, common pollen counting, sun. Oh, hold on. I had to read all this. I was going to read this fast. Okay. Uh, heating, cooling, viscosity, quellman, pollen counting, sun, B, pouring, stirring, humming, regurgitating, front desk, camera removal, inspector number seven, chap, lint coordinator, stripe supervisor, antenna ball polisher, mind wing, English, spotting counselor, box monkey, <gasps> wing brusher, hive keeper, restroom attendant. Adam to Barry, you want to go first? Barry, no, you go. Adam, oh my, what's available? Boswell, restroom attendant is always open and not for the re reasons you think. What does that mean? Huh? Looking good for Jesus? Thank you so much for the follow. Um, uh, Adam, any chance of getting off to the Kremlin, sir? Boswell, sure, you're on. He plops to the Kremlin hat onto Adam's head. Ingle on the job board. The column reads, occupation, position available, and status. The middle column has numbers, and the right column has job openings, flipping between open, pending, and close. Boswell continued, oh, I'm sorry, the Kremlin just closed out. Uh, Adam, oh, he takes the hat off Adam. Boswell, wax monkey's always open. The Kremlin goes from close to open. Boswell, and the Kremlin just opened up again. Adam, what happened? Bus Buzzwell, well, whenever a bee dies, that's an opening. Pointing at the board, see that? He's dead. Dead. Another dead. One. Daddy. Dead deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the neck down. But that's life. Oh. This is like starting to massage my brain, is it? This is the point. This is the point of no return. After this point, you are officially brainwashed. Uh, can you read B-movie fanfix ideas instead? Uh, fan fictions? I haven't vetted through any of those. What the hell did you just send, Shadow? You just sent boxes. Anyone want to play tic tac toe? <laughs> the Krellman? Like the Kremlin? I don't know what the Krellman is. Um, uh, but I do, do enjoy wooden floors being. Fuck. But I do enjoy wooden chairs being dragged on the floor. That is an evil sound to unironically like. Uh, Conal, I saw Avi at the Edinburgh Bully Wonka experience. <laughs> That's so funny. But, um, that wasn't me, by the way. I wish it was me. That looked really fun. By the way, there's going to be a three minute ad that starts soon. So we will be able to take a break and think about all of our choices that we have made up to this point. Is that okay, chat? Give me a six minute break basically right now. This will be a six minute break. So three minutes, we will wait for the ads to come in. And another three minutes, the ads will roll, roll in. <laughs> Do you hear that, chat? <laughs> the sound of my saliva gathering up. Stinger in bio. <laughs> That's so funny. Ew. It didn't work. Oh, this is a key, Shadow. You tried the third time. This has to be like my laundered money, chat. Laundered money is said invested on a weird movie. Honestly, the movie wasn't that bad. It was surprisingly really well animated. Well, Jerry Seinfeld had a dream. He did it. The movie is actually kind of funny in some parts. A little weird. Not the best. Not groundbreaking. But it was one of the movies of all time. I watched it a lot as a kid. Hmm. <laughs> So-called free thinkers when Stinger in bio. Isn't this nice, chat? Finally, a stream where Avi can stop yapping, read one thing, concentrate really hard, and you guys can all talk to each other and make copy pastas with each other. Isn't this what being in a community is all about? By the way, I eat breakfast this morning, and it's only like 12 soon, and I am hungry, starving, absolutely craving meal time. What do you guys think? What should I eat? Actually, never mind. I'm gonna eat a burger. No, burrito. Air feed. Ew. You're still right, besties. Eat ass. Famished. <laughs> Welcome, Janaria. <laughs> you should get a subway. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> you should eat during the ASMR. What the heck? Okay, maybe. I don't know. I need someone to go out there to buy a uh, Taco Bell for me. I should have got Taco Bell. I can play the can thing again. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I don't know. I think can noises are fun. They're fun. I like it. Ugh. I got you what you want. I want Taco Bell and I want the Dorito Taco because that thing is my guilty pleasure. Dorito Taco Bell is actually 
disgusting. Taco Bell in general is not very good, and it's starting to rise up in prices. But 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 but, but I enjoy it. I got you. You should eat the flesh of your enemies. Mm, I'll save that for a rainy day. I'll keep it in my basement a bit longer. Eat something with honey. That's gonna do wonders, huh? That'll actually be a really good idea. Oops, all oh, beans and cha and cheese tacos. How long until the ad breaks? Okay, it's gonna start in about uh five, ten seconds. This is a ten second warning. I'm so sorry I didn't warn you guys earlier. Ten seconds. Ads are gonna start. Ten seconds. <sighs> <sighs> I am resting my voice. I'm so sorry, Chad, for those noises. <sighs> Whispering can actually be pretty weird if you do it too much. It strains a bit. I'll work on doing it in the diaphragm now. Ugh. Can I let Avi eat me? No. I'll go to the washroom when it would. Oh, yeah. The ads are going to start right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Add. Add. She's yelling again. I apologize. I apologize. Right now. Add <laughs> to shut up. Right now. The ads should start now. They're starting right now. Right now. <laughs> now? Right now? Are we finally free for ads? For April Fool's Day? There you go, Chad. See? This is the yellow ad line. Once the yellow ad line starts, we will go ahead and continue the rest of the stream. I'm going to use this time to rest my voice. I just take a big yawn and take a good care of my thorax and take good care of my thorax and go in a low voice to open up the diaphragms. This is my chest voice. Ugh. This is my chest voice. If the line finishes, we all gonna piss our pants. No longer are we gonna use the brown notes. It is going to be the yellow lines. Avi, we can do just chatting if ASMR is too much. But we're only on page 20. This do be funny, not going to lie. And I find your voice relaxing and soft, even with the silliness. Thank you, E-Man. I appreciate that a lot. That is very nice. No ads, luckily for me. Oh, thank God. You know, Chad, I actually did have to sit through a three-minute ad. And I realized how painful it was when the when the streamer doesn't know about it and when um, they keep doing their thing and you have to go through zero of ten ads. So I might actually make it shorter and uh, more frequent to balance it out. What do you guys think? Uh, silliness. Woohoo. E-man, I'm doing science right now. It cool. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna rest my voice for two minutes. <sighs> Ads are fine if Strummer isn't still gaming. That's true. I had a question asked directly to me from another streamer. And I was like, no, I can't answer it because I can't see your reply because I am stuck behind an ad break. Ooh. All right, ads are almost over, chat. Look at that, 40 seconds. I'm surprised the ad line actually does uh, do the exact time it says it does. Oh, you know what? I should have played music. I never got an ad. Am I going to die? No, you're not going to die, fellow viewer. But I'm going to die because you didn't watch a Twitch ad because that is my hard earned $20. Just kidding. I don't get paid $20 for ads. Not yet, at least. I wish I was stuck behind an ad break so Avi gained more money. Oh, you, you're so nice and kind. Our subscribers are so weird. 
Mex just subscribed for 24 months. It's been two years with my favorite streamer. Alon Mex, thank you so much for the two years. Subscribe. It has been exactly two years since you came in here from TikTok. Thank you so much for coming in here and committing your lifelong uh, wallet. Lifelong credit card line just for me, Alon Mex. You are such a chat streamer. All right, chat. Let's continue on. All right. Um... All right, where are we? B Barry's deserved expression. Adam, feeling pressure to decide. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooling, stunt B, pour, stirring, humming, inspector number seven, lens coordinator, stripe supervisor, antenna ball polisher, might wrangler. Barry? Barry, Barry, what do you think I should... Barry? Barry! All right, scroll down. Barry is gone. Uh, exit J gate, same time. Splits, Jackson, Buzz, Low, and the other two Bs are going through final pre-flight checks. Barry enters. Low, Lodica. All right. We've got you the Sunflower Passion Quarter 9. Uranium window box in certain place. Ante Barry's antenna rings like a phone. Adam, Mio. What happened to you? Where are you? Barry whispers throughout. Barry, I'm going out. Adam, Mio. Out? Out where? Barry, out there. Adam putting it together. Oh, no. Barry, I have to, before I go to work for the rest of my life. Adam Vio, you're going to die. You're crazy. Hello? Barry, oh, another call coming in. Adam, you're crazy. Barry hangs up. Angle on, low Lodica. If anyone's feeling bad, there's a Korean deli on 83rd. I get some roses today. Barry, timidly, hey guys. Buzz, well, look at that. Split, isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Low Lodica. To Barry, hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. Hold it, son. Flight deck's restricted. Jackson, it's okay, Low. We're gonna take him up. Splits and Jackson chuckle. Low, low to go. Really? Really unlucky, are ya? A younger, smaller bee than Barry. A smaller bee than Barry? That's crazy. Chet runs up with a release waiver for Barry to sign. Chet, sign here, here. Just initial that. Thank you. Low, low to go. Okay. We've got a rain advisory today, and as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain. Now be careful, as always, reading off clipboard, watch our brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I've got a couple of reports of root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it, just babbling like a cicada. Barry, that's awful. Lodotica, and a reminder for all you rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. <gasps> but we know he doesn't do that, huh? All right, launch positions. We should just have two hours of bee noises in the background. All right, let's see if that's. I'm a little. I'm a little bit worried because um, one time I played a panda documentary and that entire stream got muted. For the, the as long as I play that documentary, but let's go ahead. Fuck. Copyright free buzzing. All right, only the only last for like thirty seconds, so um, it would have to be on loop. I don't know if you guys want this. <laughs> I don't know if you guys would want this. We'll see. Sorry, we sorry, Chad. Alright. You guys hear it? It's bees. Who copyrights bees? You'd be surprised. We want this. Alright, okay. This is gonna be sucky for me. <laughs> I hate this noise. Alright. Uh. Uh. The jocks got. Get into formation, chanting as they move. Low Lodica. Black and yellow! Hello! Splits to Barry. Are you ready for this hot shot? Barry. Yeah, yeah, bring it in. Barry nods, terrified. Buzz. Win! Check! Jock one. Antenna! Check! Jock two. Vector pack! Check! Jackson. Wings! Check! Splits. Stinger! Check! Barry. Scared out of my shorts! Check! Pause for laugh, Jack. <laughs> Low Lodica. 
Okay, ladies, let's move. Oh, shoot. I forgot to make a loop. There you go. All right. Everyone flips their goggles down. Pickers, bees, crank their wings and remove the steering block. We hear loud coming. Down those petonias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. A flight deck guy in deep crouch hand signals at them on the archway as the backwash from the bee wings flutter his jumpsuit. Barry follows everyone. Sequence 800, flying with the jocks. Where are my roses? There they are. Oh, hey, roses, yes. This is roses. This is nice. Alright. Big Honey will DMCA a brandy wasp. <laughs> I like the brandy wasp. It's so funny. Oh, wait. Why is the overlay in the back? <laughs> this is an immersive. There you go. Darkness in the back. Across everything else. Just think, chat. The more facts of a wasp reading the bee movie script is something to wonder your brain about. And bee noises? God, if this thing is copyrighted, I will. <gasps> Welcome! Thank you so much, Raiders! <laughs> here comes the Calbeans, here comes the Calbeans, here comes the Calbeans. Welcome so much, thank you so much. Uh, can I have a shout out for the Raiders? Calbeans have a wife. Hello, welcome everyone. I like, I like, there's both the uses of the cute little Calbeans emote and the regular bee emote with the celebrating noises. Sweet, sweet, it is my time. Welcome. This will be the quietest you will ever see, Avispa. Uh, except for the occasional call for action. Uh, let me ask you raiders a nice question. Have you guys actually ever watched the Bee Movie? Because if you're gonna experience it this through read along with me as I go ahead and and, and read this to the best of my ASMR ability, I, <laughs> I, I do not recommend, no, I don't recommend this. But this will be an interesting time with the jokes that got on here. I love the Bee Movie. Oh my god, really? I watched the Bee Movie so much when I was a kid. I watched it a billion times. I didn't even like the movie that much. It just played on the TV a bunch. Give me your figure skating shorts. This is a hot girl walk. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the 100 bits, Coral. Oh. That's how the CTS read it out to me. I was just thinking that everything that happened in the Bee Movie happened within in the span of 30 days. Barry brought humanity to court in a month. That's progress. Also, he died shortly after the film ended. He died after the film end? Wait, Bean's only left for 30 days? Wait, ho, I'm learning so much today. I'm learning so much information about the world today, chat. I didn't know that. Hold on, let me like fix this to make it at least fit in the screen. It's the, the black bits are angry me. There you go. There you go. There's the one line over there and I'm gonna make that to angry other people. Obviously, ASMR is really silly, but obviously, you don't gotta force this on us. <gasps> oh my god. Is that why you chose to be a bee? No, I am not a bee. I'm a wasp. Just today, I just wanted to do this cool event. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting a uh, lisp again. <clears throat> but yes, if you guys need to hop off, I totally understand, Kelby and others. Let me give you guys a shout out. Sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Shout out to Kelby. What is it? M? Hold on, excuse me, sorry. MG, okay, I knew it, I knew it. I knew it was MG. I don't know why I thought it was MGS. You're not a big uh, Metal Gear Solid fan. Oh my god, I thought that was your normal voice. No. This is my normal voice. But today, I am going here while I am calm, collected, and I'm reading the B movie. Alright. I'll be B spot. Kills you. Kills you all. I like this little background I found. Alright, 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 let's see. And he got with that human chick. Yeah, if you don't know the bee movie, the girl... The bee has tension with a woman. It's really weird. Um, the bees climb around in top formation. Very euphoric. Oh, hold on. Whoa, a mouth. I can't believe a mouth. So blue, ha ha ha. A beat. <laughs> I never knew how the scripts work in movies. So it's really interesting seeing things like a beat or like the camera angle or like off, off screen and that stuff. Hey, 
happy my Twitch is broken. I can't see or hear what's happening, but hope you're having a good stream. No worry, Otto Xander. Someone send Otto Xander IT help, please. Um, this is such an unfortunate tragedy that they're missing out on this uh, amazing Twitch experience. Um, ugh, my vocal cords are being stretched to the limits. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Do you guys want me to read out the baby movie or could we talk about how your Easter day was? Avi says she reached up on a Lego. <laughs> you guys are awful and evil. I'm good, you. B movie. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you're loyal to the. Do it all. Oh my god. We don't want to do this if you guys don't want to. Can't confirm she did say that. No! <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let them believe it. Maybe, maybe they would enjoy it. Maybe they'd come back even stronger. You started this and you're gonna finish it. But we're already like 24 pages. <laughs> I'm good with whatever, but I'm enjoying the ASMR. I appreciate the threat and the emote, by the way. Do it all. Alright, it seems like people really want me to do it. Oh, it loaded finally. That's better. Alright, Otto. Don't believe what everyone said. I, I hope you have a good day. I hope IT comes your way. We're gonna watch the movie this Wednesday? Maybe. Do you guys wanna watch it? Actually, Easter was okay. Not much to talk with family. Finish reading Batman Year One. Let's go! Avi, tell them about the Lego. What happened with- No, no, that's not what I said. Actually, I wanna know a poll. How many of you guys have seen the B-movie? How many of you guys have seen the B-movie? Me? I have seen B-movie. Uh, no, I haven't seen the full old BBB. No, there will not be option for I've seen it in memes. I'm curious. I'm not going to allow additional votes. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You guys only get one vote in my democracy. In my society, you only get one vote. Oh, look at that. Look at the sexy format. Oh, wow. Three of you guys have. Four of you guys have. Five. Wow. Oh, six. No, we're not counting me reading the ASMR script. I watched it in 2009 when it came out. Voted and I didn't see clips. Oh. Got you, yeah. Um, you like jazz? Um, can we watch like the court scene on Twitch? Are we allowed to watch the clips on Twitch? Democracy. I always groan at the court scene. Yeah, because they got that big guy around and he has like that accent and he like is all like a man baby or whatever. What an unrealistic expectation of how trials in America are. Although the jokes are really funny. Sometime, I laughed at like two of them. And then the rest, I'm like, this kid. I saw it in theaters. Really? The theater movie came out, um... When did it come out, actually? Red Space, what is Easter? What is Good Sunday? I asked... I... Okay, hold on. Generation generate zip code. You guys can really see that I was into some crazy stuff last night. Alright, um What was I gonna Google? I was gonna Google something. Uh Oh yeah, when did the B movie? When did the B movie come out? November second, two thousand seven. Wow, I could have actually seen the B movie in theaters, but I didn't. I mean, it was like five when it came out. I was. I it seems like two people have not. That's interesting. I like that it's supposed to be funny, but I don't get it. Uh, yeah, I know. I, the, 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 the court scene was okay. It wasn't the best. 2007, I feel old. Democracy. So some of you guys did see it in theaters. That's crazy to me. Um, voted and I didn't see clips. Uh, I saw it in theaters. Uh, 2009, 2007, seven, damn. 2007, I feel old. We clowned on it hard in college. You were in college? Dude, I was seven, five. I was five years old. My goodness, welcome. Uh, uh, not, not to call you old or anything. I would never call anyone old. That is not true. No one is old in my chat. If you're watching my chat, you have, um, your, your scoliosis is gone. You have no lower back pain problems. In fact, you are like the healthiest you ever are. Oh my god, it was 2007. <laughs> Oh my god, but how many of you guys watched it sober? For those that are uh, older than the usual audience. I was eight, sheesh, take me back. You can call me old. I'm not gonna call you that, I was not thinking that. Um, and for that, um, you know what, I take back what I said. You are old, Jim. 
I trained abs a little. Just not just to not have back problems. That is smart. Alright, ten of you guys have been uh, unfortunate enough to see it. Alright, got you. I wish twelve. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I love finding out people's information. And I've just seen this movie through memes. Got you. Has anyone posted ever like the full clip? No, I shouldn't say. Like on Twitter or something like that. Because I know someone posted the entirety of Spider-Man in theaters. Alright, we can continue this bit. Or we can just do a regular just chatting and talk our, Wednesday, our uh, Monday, Monday off instead. Uh, doing the ASMR thing. I'm gonna need a... I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> all right chat all right chat this was a funny bit i enjoyed this <laughs> i lasted barely until we meet the girl chat we didn't even get to meet the greatest character of all time ken the guy the guy who sounds like this how can he do a good impression of that guy i i man this is this is my crunk voice <laughs> I can't do it. Patrick Walburton. Warburton, yeah. War Warburton or something like that. Hey, beta. Yeah, that guy. I remember Happy Feet more than me movie. Oh, yeah, I remember Happy Feet. I actually loved Happy Feet as a kid. That guy's voice is so good. He is. I actually watched a bit more of, of his uh, interviews just so I can get a good like feeling about like, the B movie and how to do it. But one thing that I'm so curious about is why did they include in the B movie for those of you who have watched it? B movie Ray. Why did they include Ray Liotta? Hold on. If you guys have not seen it, you guys are in for a surprise. Do you guys know Ray Liotta? For some reason, Ray Liotta was in the B movie as like the honey thing. I don't know why. Open image and new tab, please. All right. I don't know why they made this joke. Why? Why was he the joke? Hold on. Let's actually go on, and and just have a comic book response to why he had a cameo. If I warmed up, I could actually do a good Patrick Warburton. I believe that if he had like vocals, I could reach his his uh his timbre. All right. Let's go see the Ray Ray joke. If you guys don't know who he is, this guy is from The Good Fella. He also had a part in GTA uh, Vice City or something like that. And he had a role in, uh... He had a, another role in another movie. Uh, uh, uh... Sorry, sorry, sorry. He passed away actually recently. So my condolences. Who? From Goodfella. Yeah, Ray Liotta. Uh, how to forget the guy that laughed so creepily. He has a wonderful laugh. Screw you. I know he's scary because he's from New Jersey. But he is not creepy. And he and then yeah yeah and Elmer they even said that he's not a good fella he's a bad fella why did they make a cameo the 20, 2007 DreamWorks film has become an internet meme the late Ray Liotta starred in many successful films particularly as bad guys and he kept up with that on-screen persona for his cameo so how did he land a role in B movie and how did he feel about it According to Animated Views, Leota expressed his interest in the B-movie project to his writer and lead voice actor Jerry Seinfeld. Leota was consistent about joining the cast and even reminded Seinfeld about his interest months later. So he landed a role as a version of himself who appeared in the courtroom after Barry B. Benson decided to see humans for the mistreatment of bees. For those who have not watched the movies, yes, this happened. Uh, he was a character in Black Ops 2, Mob of the Dead. Wait, that's cool. This dude? Uh, Ray Leota? Ray Leota is awesome, honestly. Yeah, New Jersey people are scary. They are. He also had a... Um, was uh, asked to be in a Frank Sinatra um, biopsy film. Those those fan fiction movies. As Frank Sinatra himself. Um, many times. Until he did a 1990-something in HBO special. I did a little bit of research on this guy. I got distracted. He also did a Hannibal movie directed by Ridley Scott. And then I went on a deep rabbit hole last night. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, Ray Liotta, he looks so cool and funny, and he's really cool. I liked him in Goodfella. I watched Goodfella because I was doing research on mobs. Like, like, Italian mob stuff. Uh, for something. Why are we bullying this dude? We're not bullying this dude, I love him. I just, why was he in here, and why was he interested? Okay, so he was founder of the Honey Brown Ray Liotta Private Select Honey, which was harvested and produced in Scotland. After Barry encountered Leota, he congratulated him on his recent Emmy win for his minor role in the series E.I. 
Who knows? I don't know about that one. However, Leota has threatened to kill Barry, and the actor's evil behavior called caused Barry to call him a bad fella. After that, B and Leota participated in an over the top yelling match. Oh my god, he shared a short clip of this movie, proving that the project his love for the project was still strong. He even expressed his eagerness to become involved in a similar project sometimes in the future and graciously thanked Seinfeld for the opportunity, one he would do again and again. Leota also took the time to check out to about to joke about his tendency to play bad guys and try to argue the opposite using his role in the mo He was in the Muppets movie? I didn't know he was in the Muppets movie. So Abby, did you lose a bet? Is this why we're here now? Yes, this is exactly why we're here. This guy was also in um, Hannibal Lecter from this one clip where they ate his brains, and I thought that was really cool. I love. I only saw that clip from Hannibal, uh, which was a sequel to Silence of the Lambs, which I never watched as a kid. I um, I actively avoided horror as a kid, and honestly, I saw a video talking about Silence of the Lambs, and I thought, ew. I saw like a couple images blurred for YouTube and I was like, I don't think I can watch this as an adult. I am very sensitive. At this point, I think it's all a B conspiracy. <laughs> He's not Ben Shapiro. What's wrong with you? He's handsome. This is, no, how could you say that about Ray Liotta? Hello? An anonymous user gifted a tier one sub Hello? Thank you for so much for the gifted tier one sub. Look, doesn't he look exactly like the B movie? He was also, like, if you don't know who he is, you'll recognize this gif. Gif. He's this guy. He's literally this guy. Hold on, let me clip him. Please don't expose my address. He's this guy. Literally him. He's a ha ha ha. You've seen him on Twitter. Oh, and he looks so handsome. He is not Ben Shapiro. Put some respect in this man's name. The hater has a sub now. Oh my god, you're right. You're right. He's been my biggest hater. Avi, were you in the B movie? Ha ha. We are funny. Yeah, I was the bear. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's that's Ray Liotta. The one in the honey jar does. Yeah, so that's Ray Liotta right here. Um, what are we talking about with this? Yeah, yeah. What if we just get like a... What if just like every time we're lost in the B movie joke, we just Google why they this is funny? Why is this funny, chat? <laughs> Just be the biggest... Um, actually, I don't get this joke. Uh, but that'd be really funny. Um, what are some other jokes? Hold on, I'm kind of scrolling through now. Uh... I'm trying to remember. Okay, so, in the movie, they also had, um, Chris Rock play a mosquito in this movie. Which I didn't know, um, until I looked back in here. Um, they also had a clip where the radio... They're like, turn off the radio! And the little, um... Do you guys remember when, uh... Cars used to have the radio signal? That's how old this movie was. Car radio signal. What page number are we on? Oh, uh, we were on. We were on a uh, a uh, twenty four. Why did you want to follow along? The one in the honey, honey jar. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me show you guys. Went into it to heaven. Oh my God, they even used a picture of an old man. Look. Remember, cars used to have this on the on their cars. They used to have this thing. I vaguely remember this because I wanted to touch it and make it go boing, 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 boing. But I was never allowed to do that. Wait, cars still do, don't they? They do. Ten percent of the way there. <laughs> that is lovely. Thank you, Shadow. Wait, the B movie ASMR is real? Yeah, I'm. I remember. Thirteen percent of the way there. Oh, very comforting. Thank you. At this point, I think it's all a big conspiracy. I believe that. Uh, how come Gary Seinfeld never asked me to be in the movie? Did they even talk about Wasp in there, actually? Oh, was it when he was holding on to it? Yes, if you remember that part in the B movie. But I don't know. I, I Car stopped having them, right? No! No tech news. Sorry, that was loud. Is your antenna mask extended? I love that. I... I... I, I remember the days when there was radio. Hour and a half for 13%. Oh boy. <laughs> if that's how long it takes to make 13%. Anyways, there's no joke to Ray Liotta. They just wanted him to be a bad guy. Why was he in the B movie? Why was his... um? Uh, does he play himself? Oh yeah, he did play himself. Uh, 
What is the famous line in B-movie? Oh yeah, the first line. Yeah, we all know that one. What is Barry B. Benson's middle name? Oh, Bartholomew Barry, Bailey Barry Benson. That's his full name. So it should take about 12 hours for her to finish. <laughs> you think so? You think we will watch the downfall of all radio signals? I hope so, because in favor of like something crazy like Bluetooth or something. Wait, there's a commentary in here. It's just like Adam Sandler movie. It's just people having fun. You know what? You're actually right. They had um, the police guy in there. Uh, what song did the police band make? Is it the Don't you want me baby? Or is that another song? Or are they the Every step you take? What song did the police make? Because they were also in the B movie. Uh, right here. Oh, you can't see it really good. Uh, uh. Sting, sting. This one, this one, this one, this one. This guy. Oh my god, and they have the worst bit, bit this guy. Is he floating? No. I missed the obvious apps. I'm yapping right now. What are you talking about? We're just talking about the B movie. How how did the B movie just get made? Oh my god, I funny meme. I funny meme. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who else knows about these people because of the B movie? So basically we had Ray Liotta, we had this guy from the police, and uh Larry King with the little map in the background as well. Avi, can we watch rat Ratatouille? Yeah, we can watch Ratatouille. Uh, just give me like 20 bucks for the movie rental. <laughs> uh, to buy the movie. It's so strange now that like, YouTube held me hostage to watch the movie in 48 hours. Or else we will not refund you your- or sorry, or else you will no longer be renting it. Isn't that crazy? Um, he was floating! Yeah, I, I believe that too. I did. that was like an editor mistake or like, you know. Actually, no, there's no mistakes in 3D in this amazing movie. Anime and manga. I wonder what kind of funny memes we'll get if we press the anime and manga section in iFunny. But a toying is the in. Oh my god, it's the Indian version? Oh my god, that's funny. I didn't know that. Um, oh my goodness. Just, the how was just the B movie made in general? Actually, I'm curious. That's not a real movie, Ratatouille. How do you- is it pronounced the same way, too? Now, that was a meditation joke. Oh, yeah, I got you. I forgot, huh? You're right. Oh my god, Ratatouille is real. We are not watching that. <laughs> we are not watching that. I am not gonna get sued. I actually, I probably won't get sued. Uh, why was the B movie made? Not even just like, how was it made? Just why? 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 How stuff works? Why was it on how stuff works? That's such an interesting- Oh, I'm so sorry! Thank you too for uh, three people following me! I didn't see it! I'm so sorry! I didn't get any notifications today! Hold on. Alright, hold on. There's a whole long article about this. I also love this background. I paid really good money for this. Alright, uh... Hold on. We are obsessed with finding the answers as you are. Ratatouille is a Brazilian movie to profit on the release of- Oh, is it Brazilian or Indian? Which one is it? I heard two different answers. Uh... And Winnie the Pooh was in it. Yeah, how did they get Winnie the Pooh to be on it? Did they speak about it here? Disney? No. Winnie? No. Bear? No. Nothing. They don't give me nothing about it. Alright. You know what though? I did have- I did really like Vanessa's voice in the B-movie. If you don't know or don't remember what she sounds like, I'll play it for you, chat. I loved that girl's voice. And I didn't know as well she was also in Shark Tales. Do you guys remember that movie? Uh, and Vanessa B-movie. What? Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me play it for you, chat. Uh, da ba da this one. Is gnarly. Ew. Except for the Why did he say gnarly like that? Whatever. Hold on. Uh, let me find the clip. There they are. This one. This one. Like, I love the actress for Vanessa. Her voice sounded beautiful. Where's Shad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> is that a, a DJ 
I love her voice so much. She sounds so cute, girly, and 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 I am I I was so confused as a kid of why. First of all, this whole plot line was really weird because it's like he's falling in love with a human, but also he's a bee and she's a human, and that was weird. It's muted. Let's play a ladder for chat. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with that same campaign slogan. Okay, that's kind of dumb. <laughs> Not me to just love. All right, I got you. Did that work? Did you guys hear it a little bit louder now? The background looks very nice. Let's hold hands and skip down the trail singing how much we like explosions. Funny you say that. Uh, in the movie, she explodes. That is not an exaggeration, but it was a very funny scene. All right. So you guys heard all that, right? I I love her. I loved her in the, the B movie. And um, she also had a performance in Angie and Shark Tales. Have you guys ever watched Shark Tales? I have. I have. How have you guys seen Shark Tales? When did that movie come out? In 2004. Poll. Shark Tales. Have you guys seen Shark Got Shake Shark Tales? Have you have you seen Shark Tales? Yes. No, I haven't watched. I misspelled the last one, but it's okay. Shark Tales is 20 years old. Yeah, and it looks 20 years old. Let's be honest, Dad. That a that movie has not aged well. It is an ugly movie to look at, just constantly. Um, just everything about this movie was just weird. I. I, who, who of you guys had a crush on the Lola fish? I liked Angie. I didn't care how Lola looked. I knew she was mean. I knew she was a bad guy. Because I knew how to do media literacy at the age of three? 2005 or 2004? I guess I watched it when I was older. Uh, oh God, we went off track. We did. We did. Now we're just talking about just weird movies. DreamWorks movie. Bet it all, bet it all. Wait, did I put betting again? No, I didn't. No? Yes. Alright, so you guys have also seen Shark Tales. Oh, five! 3D movies should get remakes rather than live action ones. True, but, uh, I don't know. I, hmm, you're not wrong. I feel like things that should be remade, sh hmm, I just don't like remakes. Unless it deserves it. Does Will, mix does Will Smith sap fish in this movie? Sap fish? What do you mean, sap fish? Clarify your typo. Okay, we're going off the track, so let's go read um the part where um what is it? This part. She's the same actress, by the way, as Vanessa. Hold on. Yes, this right. Hey, where are you? Hello, <gasps> Oscar. That's the same voice actress, and hey. and I. What are you doing? I didn't know the concept of actor. Oh, maybe you forgot. You're a shark. I love this movie because she was really mad and angry and like constantly disappointed with Oscar, and I thought she was so cool. This, uh, but oh yeah, he slapped fish. Oh my god, I see the joke you're trying to make. I get it. I forgot Will Smith did that. My god, did you guys like this movie when you were young? I, I, I enjoyed it. But I wouldn't say I would want to watch it like, Oh God, Mom, please, I don't want to watch Disney anymore. I want to watch DreamWorks and stuff, the, the Shark Tale. I just thought it was goofy enough to entertain me. I remember this movie. It was fun. It was, it was an interesting movie. It was one of the movies of all time. All right, I think we've got all traffic, off traffic, off rails enough, chat. We are just back in our yapping scene right now. We're just, we're just yapping today. We're just yapping today. Screw the B-movie. Screw this movie. You know what? I'm not gonna give it an ounce of time. Me and my brothers did. Yeah! I know I watched Shrek over and over and on soft when I was a kid. That was a good choice. A really weird choice, but a good choice. I liked... I, I didn't like the part where there was the actual romance at the end. I just liked seeing Fiona kick ass and I don't know. I was, I was like, whatever. I hated romance as a kid. I still kind of do. I, I was just like, man, why did all the girls always end up with the guys? And this is just the ogre guy. I guess there's a lesson in here or something. But, but, but Fiona was cool. 
I was iterating. It was iterating for the age I had. Damn, I feel old now. <laughs> I like that. I'm using the word iterating. That's a very good word. Um, I know what I, what I agree with. Um, me and my brother did. Uh, how about Chicken Little? Chicken Little was an interesting one because it was so different and weird. Um, pff, I like it because uh, there was this one scene where like there's the alien baby and he goes Pachita! and me and my brothers um, now that we're older adults would go like, dude, he's saying Pachita Chainsaw Man. That one was a funny. That's a dumb inside joke because uh, we watched Chicken Little a bunch, but ah, that one I didn't enjoy as much. Uh. It was annoying, but it, it passed the time. I I think out of all of that, I would prefer... Cloudy with a Chance of Meatball, though, was the first time I watched a movie that was silly. And I thought, wow, this is peak. This is a peak movie right here. I feel so many emotions. Chicken Little and uh, Puchita in the same universe? <laughs> I don't remember what he says exactly, the little alien. So it might not be saying Puchita. But I just love the word Puchita. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Girls acting disappointed in me? Yeah, all the time. It's like a said move they have. <laughs> exactly. That's why I loved Angie in uh, Shark Tales. Her, I, I, I liked her. I liked her in that movie, but I didn't like the movie. Because Will Smith just was bad character. Oscar. But I liked the shark guy. I liked everything about the movie besides the main character. That was an interesting time. Um. Oh, man, dude. I haven't seen Over the Hedge in for ever do so i can't even give you like a good answer to what i feel about over the hedge i think there was like an emo skunk girl or something and i thought she was hot um <laughs> i didn't have many crushes on guy animated characters as you can see i remember over the hedge being a good time but i don't remember like anything about it skunk was it the skunk with bangs yeah they even said with bangs yeah i know which one this is hey Oh, yeah, no, no, I'm looking at it bad. That was on purpose. Jesus Christ, she is, she has, she has, oh, oh, jeez, I, oh, 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 yeah, she's, um, um, very voluptuous. Yeah, that was on purpose. I did not remember her looking like that. I just remember thinking skunk cool. Oh, I don't know if I like the skunk anymore. The hyperactive squirrel, yeah, I remember the hyperactive squirrel, all right. That's the thing I want. I just saw your tweet. RC, you missed it. We went through all the air shim We went through the entire script. You just missed it out. You, we did it. We did it in the blink of an eye. <laughs> we did it. Hot skunk action. Where? I'm not. I don't. Hobby is so weird, champ. Hold on. Let me show you guys. Guys, animated characters are silly, funny, or hero. Heroic, but never sexy on purpose like female cartoons. Exactly! I was just always like, why are the girl ones hot? I mean, like... I didn't know I was, like, I didn't know I was attracted to a woman. I'm like, I, she looks cool. But I feel sad. Because the main character guys look weird and funny and fun. But girls are just one mode and it's sexy. Hold on. This is what the uh, skunk looks if you guys are interested. Uh, she's very voluptuous. For no reason. Hold on. That one gives you a better picture. I'm not gonna zoom in because you guys are freaks. Okay, I'll zoom in a little bit. Yeah, she's she's voluptuous. She's crazy. I, I don't remember why I remember her having the bangs. What happened to her bangs? Where's her white part? Is she actually a cat? R slash over the hedge. Rate your girl furry crush. She, uh, I don't remember this movie enough to put her anywhere, honestly. Where'd her bangs go? What happened? I'll be very confirmed. No, I just don't remember this movie enough to say anything, which is a boring answer. I'm sorry, chat. Anyways, uh, came to check whether Avi is serious for one single day of the year. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome, Scormy Cat. Thank you for coming in. I see the script reading has derailed a little bit. Welcome, pause. Yes, um, oh shit. Oh shit, you know what? I forgot to do the pause check. Ah! Her banks were cut out at the end of the movie. Why'd they do that? She looks cool. I mean, I wouldn't call that sexy, but to each their own, I'll only judge you a little bit. What do you mean? That woman has hips. She's a skunk, but she has hips. Why? And she has boobs. They always do that with characters. Every single, like, fictional character, they've always got to get the big eyebrows. Sorry, eyelashes. Or they got to got, like, weird bumps on their chest to indicate boobs. Which was weird to me as a kid. I was like, this is weird. 
That's weird. You're weird. This whole thing is weird. I BRB had to go do some big stuff. No worries. Have a good day. I hope you have a good uh, fool's day. I hope nothing bad happens to you. Hold on. Uh, but, but, reminds me of that breakfast breakfast club girl. Have you seen it, Avi? They fixed the weird girl. Dude, the weird girl was fixed in um, the breakfast club. But why did they do that? She was so normal. And at the end of it, she went with like the, the hot guy of the movie. And she was fine the way she was. She was just a little quirky. Yeah, the scene where she like uh, fixed up her um, dandruff to the painting was kind of gross, but that's her way of expressing herself. Who are we to derive uh, a, 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 a weird girl, her, a basket case of such fun fun times? Yeah, imagine being based on an animal like, I don't know, a wasp and having boobs. Hey man, let's not turn the table on me. Let's not, no, 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 you were incorrect. No, if I was a man though, Oh, no, no, no. It would be the same thing both genders. No, no, no. The skunk here. See, this is what the weird squirrel guy looked like. He's like, Hey, I'm weird. I'm funny. I got a big old tail. Oh, you guys can't really see that well. Let me draw smaller. He was like, Wow! I am hyped up on cocaine! That's all I remember the movie being like. Yeah, like, yeah! Fun time! Woohoo! I don't remember anything about the movie. But the squirrel girl? Sorry, the skunk girl? She's all... I don't know what skunk ears look like. She's all... Little Miss... Miss Maybelline eyelashes in there. And then she's got like... Even though she's a... Skunk, she gets like weird jip right here. And then they always do like voluptuous. Like right here. Like that. Like that. that. That's what all women character furry creatures look like. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. The man gets to be the funny, whimsical character. Didn't Will Arnett play the squirrel? Who's Will Arnett? I mean, that's what you look like. No! I look friendly. And crazy. Didn't the skunk like the squirrel? Did she did? I don't remember the Over the Hedge movie. It's been a fat minute. I don't even know who the main character is. I know it's not the squirrel guy. Well, I'm a criminal. I'm kind of like not a really... I mean... Hold on, this is me. This is me if I was a man. I would also have voluptuous and... Oh, no, no, no. I would have the Dorito bod. This is what I look like as a man. Oh, you can't really see my feet really well. A raccoon. Yeah, he was a raccoon guy. I remember the raccoon guy. He was like a dick, right? I don't know. I remember him being really mean and the characters being really sad. This is the raccoon guy, by the way. I don't know why he looks like Sonic. <laughs> this is supposed to be like the, the mask that raccoons wear. Doritos! And sometimes they wear clothes when the guys don't immersion break. Exactly! Weird sexist rules for them. For men. For women. Uh, like the Sonic series. Uh, and some, yeah, exactly, like the Sonic series. How come Amy has a dress? How come Sally had a jacket and no pants? Why did wearing no pants made it worse for uh, Sally? Discuss, chat. How come Blaze had pants? The only thing the Sonic characters do are have rings in their, in their, um... Wrist! And, and, da, 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 and all the girls have to wear clothes. Abby, please fix your switch name at bottom right. You're not La Avispa VTuber anymore. You're right. I need to change it now. Hold on. Let me draw Amy first. Amy's so cute. I love Amy. She's so adorable. She's like, hello. This is Amy Rose. And she has to wear a dress. But, but Sonic gets to rock around butt naked. Explain to me the hypocrisy chat. Explain to me where are his clothes? This is Sonic, by the way. If you can't tell. Hey, hey, you leave my Sonic characters alone. But 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 this is more more showcasing my point though. Her hair looks like human hair. I mean I guess you can say that about knuckles too, never mind. Uh BGM Oh shit, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry, I didn't know whether I was going to go back to the ASMR thing. 
It's just like if they gave Sonic clothes now, it would look weird. I mean, they did try to do that with the uh, uh, bandana. Hold on, you know what this means? You know what we're talking about in the genre of this? Wrong one. <laughs> Hold on. We should be putting this in a definitive tier list of some sort. Of all the weird DreamWorks movies. Let's go to the next I don't have the next screen. <laughs> uh, I accidentally got rid of the previous screen. Don't worry about what happened to it. Let's just uh, pretend nothing happened. About it, don't worry about it, don't worry. Yeah, freaking DreamWorks made a lot of weird movies, huh? Not like that's anything wrong with it, making weird movies, it's just interesting. There's chat. I didn't know chat was hidden for a while. I apologize, chat. Alright, also, what do you mean? He wears shoes. That's enough of my book. I guess you're right, he does wear shoes, but no, Madagascar was weird. Alright, Puss in Boots. I actually really love the Puss in Boots movie. It took itself seriously and not enough. The girl character also doesn't wear clothes. She doesn't have boobs. She does have luscious, like, cool eyes. But, you know, that's just cats. The first one? Yeah, so this is gonna be my tier list. So it's already at high uh, ranking. Neither does Puss. Exactly. Neither of them wear clothes. They both wear shoes. He wears a hat because he's cool. Um, she, she just never wore clothes. And that's awesome. She's actually cringe. What the fuck do you mean she's cringe? She's awesome. Why don't you like the girl kitty paws or whatever? Kitty soft paws. Alright. Uh, Kung Fu Panda 2. That is an amazing distinction. Uh, I like it. I love it. I like it. I love it. Tigress is cute. I love Tigress as a kid. Uh, the second movie, that was the one with um, the peacock as a villain, right? That was a good movie too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot they made Road to El Dorado. Where? Oh yeah, that's instantly going to S tier. Yes, I like 2 the most. I do love 2 the most, but um, yeah, you're right. 2 was a very serious, and that caught me off guard the first time I watched it. Uh, the memory thing... Memory thing is interesting to me. You think clothes will stop it? Wait, what are you talking about, Kitten? Hold on, hold on. Let me see what you were talking about. Welcome, Kitten, by the way. We already birthed way too much furries. We should thank God for making animators draw clothes on female characters. <laughs> Apparently, gay furries don't exist. <laughs> Two to one to three. Oh, I haven't seen the third one yet, but I did hear there's a cool uh, dad's, uh, dad's subplot. That's funny. Turbo was interesting. I'll give it a C. I'll give it a D. Mm, I'll give it a C. Mm, I'll give it a... I hated the remix. Trolls? I don't like it. I'm sorry, I don't like it. I'm sorry, I don't like it. Spirit based. Move out of here. Shrek, uh... What does it say? Forever After. I actually really like all the Shrek movies, but we'll talk about that later. Because I don't remember how they go, so I'm going to put that right behind there. Because that is too easy of a win. Wait, which Kung Fu Panda movie are we on? Four? Oh. oh. Oh, wait, hold on. I actually didn't like Kung Fu Panda 3. This one, unfortunately for me, goes to B tier. You cannot like the Zavi. You're so correct. Chell was very cute. I love seeing that woman on screen. She made me feel things. And she was fun. She had she was spunky. She had personality to herself. And she got to be mad at times. I love a woman that could be mad on screen. Not just... Oh, I'm so innocent and hopeless and oh way for me. That's why I like uh, Kitty Soft Paws and Poos and Boots. She was cool and she was a bad guy, but not like the sexy bad guy. She was like the antagonist, which is the opposite of a bad guy. They just have different worlds, you know. I couldn't finish Spirit. We made our mother turn down. What the fuck? Spirit was good. What's wrong with you? Spirit had animated horses. I wasn't even a horse girl, but Spirit was so cool and and I loved it. And the girl horse was cute. <laughs> and and um um there was that hot Native American dude. 
oh my god and that 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 subplot with like the human part and how there was like that colonizer white guy and and the native american dude and i don't remember much about it but i remember just loving it just for how shocking it was to me as a child for even though being a kids movie having like such adult themes and like talk about hardships and i don't remember <laughs> she needs to see snails go fast <laughs> i don't know i just didn't like it you guys are free to disagree with me by the way I also love to see women mount on screen, and that's why all these streams in he are here. <laughs> yeah, my streams will be S, S plus tier, because I just get mad all the time. Because of you guys, you raise my blood pressure. Uh, Rise of the Guardians. I didn't love it. I'm gonna put it above Kung Fu Panda 3, though. I didn't love Kung Fu Panda 3 that much. Yeah, I didn't like Kung Fu Panda 3 that much. I'm sorry, Chad. I didn't like it that much. I also love to see women... Oh, I read this. D. The Rise of the Guardians... I watched it in theaters. And, um... I love the part when there was, like, that bad guy. And he was in a room with the Jack Frost. And I heard the, the theater go, like, 360 audio just for that one part. And that, like, gave me chills. But it is kind of a tearjerker now that I'm an adult. For Avi, all movies are either amazing 10 out of 10 or D tier. You're not wrong. I kind of want to put Kung Fu Panda 3 lower just because I purely don't remember it and I hated the plot. I hate plots where there's like a girl that's so badly in love with the main character. Except Amy Rose. I love Amy Rose. But this one, she had like no personality. I just didn't care. I didn't really care. I, I wanted her away from Poe. Anyways, Penguins of Madagascar. I never watched it, but I'm gonna give it an S tier just because I think it would be good. Madagascar movies are pretty good. My niece made me watch Spirit a good 20 times. It's a love-hate relationship right now. Oh, I feel that though. Uh, what's, what show does my siblings like? They like YouTubers and they tell me about YouTubers all the time and I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Wow, like, but like in a good way. Okay, let me go theater mode. Let me get out of theater mode. Didn't see penguins. I'm sorry. Your Oshi can't be perfect all the time. But um, we'll touch on the Shrek movie later. I'll just try to remember them. Obviously, Shrek Two is first. Peak. Um, I didn't finish it. It's okay. I never. I didn't finish it, but it's okay. It's all right. It's not a DreamWorks film, but I have you seen Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul? I have, actually. I remember being so scared all the time, but I remember kind of liking it, but not enough to remember the title. I'm sorry. But I do remember watching it because my um, mother would rent movies in those little movie rent boxes. Kind of like rent ATMs. And that's how we saw a lot of like DreamWorks movies and even non-DreamWorks animated movies, non-Disney, non-DreamWorks. Uh-oh, there's gonna be an ad that starts in about, uh, two minutes. Lol, there were some scary moments for sure. Yeah, there was. I can't remember anything about it, but if you asked me to rewatch it again, I would. Monsters vs. Aliens, I actually really did like this movie. It is a B tier. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah. It is a B tier. It is a solid B tier, even though I don't like Seth Rogen. It was pretty good. I like the cockroach guy. Um, Missing Link was a little bit weird to me as a kid, but he was a nice character. And I love the giantess woman as a kid. She was just a spunky, normal, everyday girl. And she was gonna get married. And then she realized she don't need her man. And I thought, wow, a movie where she doesn't have a romantic partner. And she has a almost divorce, basically calls up her marriage. So based. Redbox was my friend uh, after Hollywood video shut down. Oh my god, you're right, dude. When the uh, video store shut down, I was genuinely upset because I remember scrolling through all of those movies and that's how I stumbled across Cinderella 3. Straight to DVD. Rewatch it, please. Okay, I bet. I, I will then. Now, nah, the funky scene is peak. Uh, the piano thing was so good. You know what? That might bump it up to an A tier, depending on the rest. Megamind. S tier. I actually hated the movie the first time I saw it in theaters. No, it wasn't this movie. It was Rats and the Guardians. I hated 
I just started to get older and edgier. And not even that much edgier. Just like, I don't like anything anymore. But Megamon, I actually watched it in theaters. No, I watched it on uh, a red box. Yeah, this was theaters. This was red box. Was it? And I really liked it. It was interesting. There was Hal. Hal was a character that was evil. Pure evil character. It taught me a lot about different character writing in a weird way. And it was really good. Everyone loves Megamind. All right. You got red box as a kid? My mom got pirated in movies from the supermarket. That is so based, ladies. Oh, your mother is a true pop champ. Why can't you have all the ads at the beginning? For the real m movie experience? <laughs> you come into obby stream, you show up like 20 minutes late, and you're like, okay, good. The stream hasn't started. All right, there's going to be an ad in five seconds now. I apologize so much to my pop champ burritos. We will not continue this list until you come back. <sighs> Let me go drink water. Hold on, it'll be starting soon, soon. Avi did this too. She's just trying to get caught uh, by the IRS. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, Chad. Um, our PogChamp Arenos have officially been hidden behind the paywall. Faster this time, though. So we will go ahead and wait for them to come back. All right, guys. No, that is not the P jar. Do not, do not use. Why are you so big, Chat? We're gonna make you smaller so you don't have that much power. There you go. Knowing Gavi, she probably thinks it's D tier. She literally would be like, "I didn't get it." For which one? Mega Mind. I love Mega Mind. I love Mega Mind. Are you not done yet? Uh, don't worry about it, Kiwi. Don't worry about it, Kiwi. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Let's just go ahead and wait for the ad break to finish. Just a heads up. Based on your ranking of how to train your dragon, I may not be able to see be seen on your channel. Huh? <gasps> wait, what do you mean? Did I... I didn't... This is the Rise of the Guardians. Oh. I actually rewatched... Not yet. Huh? I actually... Oh, based on my ranking, you will... Oh, okay, that's what you meant. I thought you meant, like, something I said before. Uh, but, 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 don't worry. The ad break is gonna end in one and a half minutes. Let's go wait for our pog champs. I'm gonna go hydrate real quick. I'm just looking at the... At the beautiful posters. This person, honestly, making a tier list is very hard. Um, yeah, it is very hard to make a tier list because you got to get like, if you want to do it nicely and get all the posters and stuff to be consistent, it's pretty hard to find it on an easy Google search. So honestly, to anyone who has ever made a tier list for anyone, for any reason, whether it's a streamer or for your friends or for yourself, Thank you so much for your service, homies. I appreciate you, even if no one else will. I will. Okay. Uh, can't hate movies if she hasn't watched any. These are the only movies I've watched. DreamWorks, Disney, and uh, probably some Paramount animated movies. I think Paramount has animated movies. And that's it. I'm so bad with watching movies. I just watched the same ones as a kid. VHS Disney movies. Do you guys want to rate, uh, rate uh, Disney movies after? I'll do that. Uh, she hates good cinema. <laughs> That's so funny. Not too. All right, the ad break is back. Don't worry, we haven't started in anything. All right, gamers, let's see what's next. Madagascar 3. I love Madagascar 3 for the side plot of the evil woman who is a badass police, a French police officer. Very accurate to how terrifying that entire country is. Um, so we'll put it at a C though, because the rest of the movie, I just don't remember it. Why, why are they still, why is this title still called Madagascar? Are they even trying to go back to Madagascar at the point? I don't even remember. All right, uh, we'll rate the second movie later. Uh, home. Bad. I hated it. Boring. Rihanna, sorry. I hated that purple guy. As a kid, he was annoying. 
Can we reach Marble? Uh, what time is it? Eh. You were just ranking them by women. You know what? You might be right. <laughs> you say that, but I didn't mention Tina Fey's character in uh, Mega Mind. I actually got called her a lot. Whatever her character's name is, I can't remember. Because I had short hair at that point, and I was really annoyed. What was her name? What was her name? What was her name? I don't remember. Oh, Avi, you're, you complete egg. Your opinions are so cr What? What do you mean? Whispers in your dreams. No, people did call me that and I was annoyed. That's why, like, the movie, when I was young, I didn't really like it because people kept calling me a character in that movie. Uh, she only mentioned the female horse from that horse movie by far. No, not you. I mentioned the girl, Kitty Claw, Kitty Soft Paws, Tiger is, Tiger is. Um, I don't remember, but I'm just gonna assume it's us. Um, Fiona, the girl, white hair girl. The French lady, the love interest. I. It was okay when I watched it like the first 20 minutes. Um, the Tooth Fairy girl was really cool. I liked her design, very fairy like. Um, I don't even know if there was any girls in this movie. Uh, hated it. Um, hated it. Yeah. Alright, Cruz is also going into S tier. Yeah, I just love the movie. I even love the sequel as well. The sequel was so good. All right. Captain Underpants. Unfortunately, I have not watched it. I am very lazy. Croods? Yes, Croods was really good. I love the Croods. You don't know about that one. Croods was a fun movie about a man entering into a girl's life. And he has to deal with her whole family, which is relatable. Plus, there was Nicolas Cage. And Nicolas Cage is acting. Nicolas Cage as an actor was so fun. And I love the grandma. The grandma the mom was really cool. I wish she had a bigger role in this movie. I don't remember if she did, but it was nice. Uh I guess I'll knock off punch for the baby. The baby was okay. I hate it. I hate baby plots. But actually no, no, no. This movie is good because they treated the baby like an animal, like a pet, and it was really funny. Hey, so like and also I have um Also it's a father daughter movie. That that father daughter movies ruined me. They just make me sad and happy and sad, mostly sad. It was only relatable because most of them can't even speak properly. They spoke. You're you're so right. The movie was very funny. They went unga boonga, but in a funny way. Uh, hold on. Is there a way to add the extra tier? Add a row below and make it. Haven't seen it. No, oh, I wanted you to be yellow gray. Oh, I guess not. Oh, sorry. Wait, no, I'm doing it wrong. Oh, it changes the... Oh, I'm the silly goose, chat. Hold on, I'm a silly goose. Just know this means I haven't seen it. I'm too lazy to put new. The first Puss in Boots uh, on S tier? Yes. I love the first movie. I know there's a certain YouTuber that goes around ha -ha, making fun of my movies that I love. I love the first Puss in Boots movie. You're not going to change my mind. More than half of these movies are older than you. Yes, and I was the target audience once I reached the age to watch them in the Redbox uh, movies. Um, what was I saying? Okay, I haven't seen this one yet. Um, haven't seen this one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't seen it. Haven't seen it, but I know it's dog water. Uh, Madagascar 2. Fuck, what was the second movie about? I don't remember. Uh, Madagascar. I like the first movie. The first movie was pretty good. Uh, I haven't heard the name Redbox in a while. Yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> we used to have a video store and everything. It was great. I thought you were a bee, now a goose? Welcome, safe girl. Welcome, how are you? Humpty Dumpty is amazing. Exactly! His character was good. Who was the voice actor for him? Was he the same one that did, um... Ram... Can someone Google who did the voice actor for Remy? Because... I mean, for fuck. For Humpty Dumpty, because I really liked his voice. It was very good. Very compelling. Very evil. I love the first movie. I don't care what anyone says. I love my Latino representation. <laughs> All right. How to Train Your Dragon. I actually watched it again um, after a long time. I remember not liking the movie the first time. 
Like, in a weird way, if you asked me when I was 14, I would have put a C tier. I did fall asleep in the movie. I'm just not the kind of person that likes having a big cast of characters and only, like, two of them are important. I don't know. And also, I grew up on Tumblr, so I saw How to Train Your Dragon put in a lot of, a uh, Rise of the Train Your Dragon, Guardian, Frozen, Tangled, Dragon. So... Oh, yeah, the Toothless meme. I actually did, but, but on Rewatched as an adult, like, last year. I would put it in a solid, uh... I would put it in a solid B tier. Really high B tier, though. Maybe A. Astrid was hot, but she was so... But she was just love and trust. I wanted more out of the characters, but Hiccup's character development was really cool. And the ending... I totally forgot the ending, dude. I don't know what happened to me when I watched this in theater. Did I like fall asleep or something? Cause I do not remember this man having like his leg amputated. So big, big points for that though. I think I went to the bathroom at this point. <laughs> something prevented me from seeing the last ending. So I put high tea, heavy. Uh, blue pots, please do not cry, sob, laugh. Actually no, say your worst. So grubby, who takes over the channel? <laughs> It was a good movie. I just I just wish the character cast I don't know. If there's a big cast of characters, I get attached really easily. And for this movie, I just didn't really get attached to anyone but Hiccup. It was a good movie. Good characters. I love the dragon part. Very cool world building. Fine, I'll put it in A tier. Because the world building was actually genuinely cool. But it was okay. It's kinda like Big Hero 6 to me. I like it. But there was a lot of characters. And they were okay. What an ending! A child gets his leg amputated. Yeah, it was very... Like, I didn't remember that at all. So when I rewatched, I was like, what? Pause, we chose the wrong OG! <laughs> no, chat! You know what? We can have our disagreements, right? Nah, I'm leaving forever. Also, do not mention that fandom with all the uni movie universes combined. I had to escape that in high school. Oh yeah, I was in the trenches as well, dude. You couldn't Google Tangled anymore without getting like froze. Like, what was it? Rapunzel and Jack Frost. Who was the popular couple? Rise of the Tangled Enchant. No, Enchant was there. Rise of the Tangled. Rise of the Tangled Brave Dragons. Brave Tangled Dra Okay, if you guys don't know it, here's a bit of Tumblr lore. Here it is. Oh yeah, oh my god, you already made a video about it. That's awesome, I don't need to explain anything. So there was Rise, Frozen, yeah, Jack Frost and Elsa. How did I forget that? So people will just have a lot of crossover with these characters. And I don't know, like, even though I was a child, the perfect age for this, I just didn't vibe with it. Oh yeah, there was Hogwarts too. Rise of the Tangled Frozen Dragon. Brave Tangled Frozen Dragon. There you go. Stop! Don't make me remember! You have to remember, chat. You have to remember the emo edits on Elsa and Tangled and... Sorry, she has a name. Rapunzel. And, and, and there was drawings and gifts of them smooching. That's just... It's a kind of quartet. It was a... It was a time, for sure. Um... Read, monkey, read! Oh my god, no! <laughs> Welcome to the internet! Oh my god, I already had the, um... Fucking... Bo Burnham song was really fun. Alright, next one. B-movie. Sorry, low C tier. I'll put it higher than Rise of the Guardians and then... No, I'll put it lower than... Wait, why did I say higher? I'll put Rise of the Guardians higher. It was pretty. And it is very serious. I just didn't enjoy it. It's a C tier, not even B tier. Avi, I'm dying. Cease. I wanted B movie. Not remembering my time in the trenches. Damn, did you have like any girl people you knew? This is kind of a betrayal. I'm sorry, I just didn't vibe with it. I don't know why. I right, this is a this is actually a movie I have not seen. Sorry, Chad. <laughs> this is gonna make you guys hate me more. I don't I haven't seen the the second and third one. I don't know, I just forgot about it and I was lazy. Abby has all the chances to make a funny joke. No. No. I refuse. 
over the head. I don't remember it, but it's probably B tier. Shark tail, S tier. Angie was hot. What could I say? They managed to make a fish girl. Make me go crazy. Just kidding. <laughs> I think you guys would actually like try to get me banned off this website for that. No fair. I've also only seen the first one. Okay, good. You understand then. All right. All right, um, if I were to put the Shark Tale movie any anywhere, I would actually kind of enjoy it more than the uh, Rise of the Guardians. <laughs> no, I enjoy it more than this movie. I enjoy it more than this movie. I unfortunately enjoyed it more than Rise of the Guardians. I, uh... I don't know if, about Over the Hedge. I don't remember. Probably enjoyed it more than that. I'll play my B tier. B tier was, it was kind of okay, but I liked it. They need to make a B movie too. You know what? You're right. Why haven't they made a sequel for that one? God, I couldn't stand the musical part of that movie. 80% of it. For which movie was it? Um, what movie were you talking about? Uh, Scepter. Uh. She likes Shark Tale movie more than Rise of the Guardians. That's so fucking awful. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I just grew out of liking animation at one point. And you know what? Maybe I should just rewatch it again. Let's rewatch it again. No, I'm gonna. S mm. I'll just put it here. I didn't watch it. I I watched it in theaters, but I don't remember anything. I just remember being really hormonal and mad. This tier list really battles my self-control. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have bad opinions. I Puss and Boost was an S tier, but I do like making the jokes about how it has accurate depiction of panic attacks. That that's been like kind of a meme that this thing like started. And it's kind of funny. I kinda of like that for the meme it brought. I loved Puss and Boost though. More than the first. More than Spirited Away. More than Megamind? I don't know. Where would I put this? It's up there with... The Shrek franchise that tries is just really good. They should just be together. Alright. I'm on my way with Tweezer to see how her brain functions. We'll fix the order like exactly later. Uh, I never watched Sinbad, but I trust that it's probably peak because it's a 2D animated movie. I never watched Abominable. Abby, the movie is called Spirit. Ah, oh, shit. I'm stupid. How many times did I call this movie Spirited Away? <laughs> All right. You know what? We should do this every April Fool's Day. I go on here and talk about my recent rating of movies that I watched, and you guys just get really mad. I think it's better than any idea I'll ever have. Chad, I can accept her for who she is. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna like, you're talking to the girl who watched the Cats movie three times, four times with different friend groups. Trolls. I don't like, I don't, I don't, I didn't watch it. It was actually kind of good. I did watch a little bit of it. It was one of those things that was playing in the TV room and you look at it and it's a good movie, but I'm not going to say I, I, I enjoyed the Trolls franchise. The Cats, the human one. Yes. All right. Um. Oh, flushed away? I don't remember it, but I probably liked it. I probably didn't like it that much. I'm gonna say I didn't watch it because I don't remember it. <laughs> Those slugs were kind of funny. Maybe I like it a little more than... Nah. Yeah, I don't remember, but I probably liked it. Nah, I'm gonna put it in here. To be fair, it's important when and which mood you see a movie, especially when which movie you saw in childhood. Exactly. I remember liking the uh, the bloopers as a kid. They did a, a cover of Pump It with the snail with the slug things, and I thought that was funny. I was also a child, so <laughs> um, you know what? For the Pump It uh, behind the scenes bloopers featured DVD set. I'm gonna put a C. It's British. It's Brit Zavi. Oh my god, they were British, huh? I the memory's so hazy now, but I actually kind of like this movie. 
I'll put it less than Mag Madagascar Carthy though. I would love to watch the cats though, but ironically, and talk and comment the whole movie. Exactly, it's a comment you have to watch with like the the mic on and do not watch it drunk. That is such a that is such an easy out honestly i don't watch movies drunk i watch it fully sober accepting it as it is and taking it as seriously as they want me to be i'm not all <laughs> i'm gonna be drunk and that's the only way i can watch this no i'm living life sober and you should too the frogs were kind of uncanny but they were cool i like the uncanny design all right this one an oscar this is a nest here sorry wallace and gromit what is this the were rabbit right i actually did watch the were rabbit yeah, the curse of the web rabbit. This is peak. This is peak cinema. Did I put ants in S here? I don't remember doing that, but I remember doing it. Uh, it had Sylvester Stallone, and I thought he was really hot. I also thought the woman ants was hot. Also, this movie was really weird, but I didn't hate it. So I'm going to put it in a B tier. There you go. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Ants was great. It really was great. It actually was great. I loved Ants, but it was weird. It was a weird movie for sure for kids. Anyways, Ollie. Okay, okay. Wait, did you hear it was British and lo lower its rank? What? No. Have you seen Barnyard? I did. I don't remember anything, but I thought it was weird. I thought it was a weird thing. I'm like, cows? How come that male cow has an odor? Now I know. Chicken Run Peak. Up there with Wallace and Gromit. I actually really loved the Curse of the Were Rabbit a lot. I did not know it won Oscar. Uh, there you go. Chicken Run, I actually really love it. It introduced me to Brendan Fraser. His name, right? I'll put this, like, right behind. I'll put it right here. For some reason, they animated an ant war. It was just a weird movie. But I loved it. Prince of Egypt, peak. Should have won all the rewards. Same with Eldorado, peak. I love these. I love this a little bit more. No, I actually like this a little more. No, this was really good. No. Um. No. Nah. Eh. These get their own genre, dude. I cannot put them against each other. I love Prince of Egypt. I love El Dorado. I listened to the soundtrack of Prince of Egypt a couple years ago and I cried like a baby. It's just, it's a different league, dude. I love these two movies. They're really good. I love them. I love them. I love, I love, um, Elton John. His amazing performance in this one. The more I learn. The more I see, and I love this one for bringing us peak uh, cinema. She is starting to correct the timeline. Well, dude, of course this is gonna be peak. All right, uh, Crudes. I actually really like the sequel. It was very funny. I laughed a lot. We watched it in New Year's, the year that it was released. I think it released recently. Wait, when was this released? The second movie. I like it because there was their um the girl. And her best her best friend. I don't remember what happened right now, but I really liked the movie. It was genuinely a good time. And the stupid boy was the background character or whatever, I don't remember. <laughs> um, I actually watched this show with my little sister. I liked it. Even though it completely betrayed. Oh wait, this is the movie. I haven't seen it. But I did really like the show. I really love the show, and I know it totally betrayed everything about the actual original movie. But my sister was like five, guys. You guys can chill. She loved it, so I love it. Sorry she isn't a critique at the age of three. But I love it. 2020 Croods too. Yes, all right, thank you. Croods over Madagascar. Croods was good. You, you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. I also don't remember Madagascar level. Uh, actually, where's Madagascar 2? Did I put Madagascar 2 yet? Do I even need to say anything? Hey, had Aquafita! There you go. Sorry, guys. It was furry bait, and I fell for it. At 3, she can absorb info. What the f- <laughs> 
<laughs> my little sister. And um, actually, you're supposed to know that this is played by um, who's that one really popular uh music composer that shows up in like every movie? Fuck. Uh, sorry, I can make a cinema joke. I do not know enough about cinema. Why can't I have bricks on t Twitch TV? That's a good point. Boss baby, I hate it. You're going down. Uh, what is this one? What is this movie? Hold on, let me zoom in. What is this movie? What's this? Oh, Teenage Kraken. Haven't watched it. Doesn't look that good. Sorry. I mean, uh, no, it doesn't look that good. Um, kind of boring. And that's okay. And that's okay. Have any of you guys seen Teenage Kraken? I saw an advertise. A lot of people were saying they did not see any advertisement with it. I saw a lot of advertisement. Um, my sister. Every time the movie releases onto a streaming service, my family watches it, and I kind of hear it. It's not too bad. It's not the best. I only see it like occasionally, like when I go from my room to the kitchen. But that's it. Gonna have my kids learn how to critique movies at the age of one day. They'll be the next best movie critic. <laughs> They're gonna be that new guy from uh, what's his name from uh, Reddit Ratatouille. Hi, Avispa! And yeah, Kraken was good, but not incredible. Yeah, but it's a good movie. You know, it's one of the good movies. And it's okay for Dreamworks to have good movies. Madagascar 2. What was Madagascar 2 about? What was it about? Did I like it more than the sequel? Oh, they escaped to Africa. Yeah, I actually really like this movie. Uh, once again, Father Son. Just any movie with a dad subplot, I actually really enjoy. Um, and they make me sad. Fuck, you know what? No, I'm gonna put this on A tier. That fucking beginning when they separated the child from the dad made me weep when I watched it again. And I was like, oh, with siblings at this point, I was like, oh! And the penguins were always good. I saw her father, though. Damn, Pirates of the Caribbean 2 was cool. I, I never watched... I never watched Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, Abby, Motomoto, that's enough for S tier. Oh god, I forgot about Motomoto. It had big and chunky. Every dad plot and Abby cries. It's true though. You know what? We need more mom films. What's wrong with DreamWorks and not having anything for mothers and daughters? Yeah, wait. Yeah, huh. Yeah, wait, I'm kind of cooking there. Yeah. This didn't really have a mother-daughter. They just did father-daughter again. Times two. Uh, okay, what is this one? Troll Hunter? Never watched it, sorry. Trolls? I don't like trolls, sorry. Alright, the Shrek franchise. Joseph? I'm sorry, I never watched it, and it looked kind of boring when I saw the trailer for it in the VHS at the end. Okay, Shrek, we'll talk about later. Never watched this one. Never gonna watch this one. No, I haven't watched it yet. Alright, the Shrek franchise. Let's talk about the Shrek franchise. You got enough, don't be greedy. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what do you mean enough mom movies? I can't even name a single mom movie. Alright, next community movie series, Pirate of the Caribbean. That wouldn't actually be a bad idea. Shrek the Third and F. I actually really like Shrek the Third. The wizard guy was really funny. Shall we meet the stream now on? Shut up, Chad. You guys can't handle me being so based and and numb. I bet you guys all watched Shafferless and were like, yeah, I think the Shrek movies are just as bad as he said. Oh, like, let me go Google to refresh my memory. Shrek the third. I thought the plot about Arthur was really funny. Uh, the college thing was really funny. I, hold on, let me try to remember anything else. Oh, yeah, there was also the baby subplot too. Wait, no, this was the one where they had the fucking princess side plot. I love this princess side plot. That was the best thing ever. One for each time I died during your ranking of how to train your dragon. Thank you so much, Blue Paws, for the 10 gifted subs. To this base movie critic wasp who is relying on her memory when she was older than 8 years old. Shrek the Third I loved because of the plot with the princesses. And they have Fergie doing a cover of Barracuda. Barracuda. And I love Barracuda. So I'm gonna put it at a solid B tier. We'll fix the ranking later, but it did not deserve the backlash that it did. Also, the scene with Pinocchio trying to like lie to the prince was really funny. You guys are just haters, 
And also, he dies at the end, and they have a whole theater scene, and I thought that was funny. You know what? I will be the with the wasp lawyer. Her tier list is only the truth. Everyone else can have their opinion. Oh, everyone else can have their opinion, though, even if they're wrong. No photographic memory. Not my streamer. Listen, there's only a few memories. I, a few movies I can close my eyes at and rewatch it in my head. No, the third one was good. You guys are just sheeples, all of you. Oh, yeah, it is Merlin, huh? I don't even know the Merlin story that well, huh? Avi, there's a recent movie. Mom DreamWorks movie. It's Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken. Yeah. And is there anything else? I haven't seen that one. Name me like five more, E-Man. All right. All right, Shrek, the first one. I'm gonna need to think about that one. Uh, which one's this one? Shrek. Forever After? Let me go Google that. Oh yeah, Forever After. That was the side plot. Did you guys know there was a video game with Shrek Forever After that I actually did play a lot? And I really love that video game. And that's how I remember the side plot about like the Fiona. And I don't remember which console I played it out. Was it the Wii? Or I think it was the Wii. The Wii had a game of Shrek Forever After. And because the game was actually really fun, at least according to my standards as a child, um, I'm going to put it at a really high... I'm going to put it up in B as well. I like seeing fat puss in boots. Hold on, didn't want me to... Okay, there you go. Uh, Shrek. Is it better than the first Shrek movie? Well... You what? Yeah, there was a whole game... Oh, oh fuck. Where did Shrek go? Shrek? Where did Shrek go? Shrek? Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. No, sorry. Secret of Coraline. Hold on, uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2 is technically a mom movie. Oh, I never watched it either. So there's two mom movies out of... Hold on. This is technically a dad movie. This is a dad movie. Uh, where was it? The third movie. This is a dad movie. Technically, you can argue the second one is a dad movie because the dad, mo the dad is the bird. Um, this is a dad movie. The mom is alive, but it felt really close to the dad. Um, this is a dad movie, the first one. Uh, he had no parents. He has no parents. Buddy, buddy. Say so sequel had a dad movie? I don't know anything about Boss Baby. Pretty much all characters have moms. Those are all mom movies. No, not correct, not correct. Coraline was a very good mom movie. And I love it to death. The movie with the aliens have a single mom. Does that count? I don't remember. Did they actually talk about the parents? I remember her breaking up with her girlfriend or with her boyfriend. Sorry, husband, ex, ex, uh, fiance. Did they have parents? I don't remember. I need to rewatch that movie again. Uh, where's Shrek? There it is. All right. Um, Shrek has amazing soundtrack, dude. The Shrek the Third. You guys may hate Shrek the Third, but I loved it for its amazing soundtrack. Like I said, Fergie with Barracuda. I was introduced to the original Fer Barracuda through that. Uh, second movie had, of course, um, I Need a Hero. Shrek the First, though, was very interesting. And I loved how Fiona looked. But yeah, it definitely falls right behind Shrek the Second movie. It just was a stronger movie and just, I don't know. Everything about it was better. I don't know the name. Something home. Uh, oh, home. This one. Is it a mom movie? I don't remember. I don't remember uh, Circus. I'm gonna put it lower. Why did I put this here? I might as well not have watched the movie. Alright, so here's my definite accurate rating. Uh, these two are equal, by the way. They're not like one or the other. I really love El Dorado and Prince of Egypt. They're for a good time. All right, let's clean the list a little bit. Um, I just remember having a good time with Wallace and Gromit. Definitely deserved that um, nomination. Statement of shame. I watched only around half of the first Shrek movie. Really? You missed out on Farquaad? The, the way he... The ending with the dance sequence and the part where she... For shame. For shame. El Dorado was a masterpiece. It was really 
really good. I loved El Dorado a bunch. And, and oh my God, the soundtrack saves. Oh, not saves. It didn't need any saving. Just, I love seeing representation of people that are just as dark as I am, even darker. And it is a beautiful thing to see in 2D. Honestly, as a kid, it was like very comforting, even though it wasn't even my culture or an existing culture at all. But it was just something beautiful to look at. Just characters in all range. First, Good and bad? Did you finish the script? No, we're ranking a DreamWorks movie. Uh, agree with me or die. Um, all right, Madagascar 2. I'm sorry, Madagascar 2 just had the stronger cast of characters. They also had that guy! Wait, the lion guy looks like, um, that actor we were talking about in the B movie. Hold on, I need to Google something real quick. Google... Bad lion guy... Madagascar 2. Who played that? Was that also, um... No, it was voiced by Alec Baldwin. Huh? He was voiced by Alec... Huh? That was Alec Baldwin? Who was the former narrator of Thomas and Friends. Also, it's missing chicken one, too. Oh, did that already come out yet? Also, sorry that my uh, gray background uh, got cropped. Hold on, don't worry. There you go, I fixed it. <laughs> That's supposed to be where chat is. Right here. I'll keep you guys there. In your comfy box. Why are you guys shaking your head? I'll be graduated in my eyes after today. You guys just can't handle the truth. Shrek the third not being the lowest. Shut the fuck up, everyone. I love the princess side pod. You guys are all just haters, sheeples, and you all watch Shafferless. Admit it, you do. Anyways, nothing bad with that, though. I love Shrek the third. The princess side plot, at least. Everything else kind of sucked, but it's okay. No, just the entire thing was ass. Not true. Sorry, I had bad taste. Not true. Sorry, you're a sheeple. Anyways, uh, okay. So let's see. Hate it? Which one do I hate the most? This one. I like the Rihanna song, but annoying. Turbo was redeeming. Trolls? Yeah, no, this was more annoying. What's his name? Blorb or whatever? Blorb? He just kept talking in third person. I just don't like people that talk in third person. Except Elmo. Chicken Run 2 is not DreamWorks, but yeah, it's out. Oh, I never watched it. Do you guys like it? Alright, uh, Shrek the Third. Sorry, not Shrek the Third. Panda 3. I love the French lady. High up there. I don't remember anything, but I remember it being good. I fucking hate. <laughs> I guess I'll admit it's kind of funny sometimes. Sometimes. Not the funniest. Alright. And it's pretty high up there. I l okay, fine. I'll, you know what? I'll compromise with you guys. Low B tier. Shark Tales is really fun. I don't remember over the head that not. You know, I need to watch it again. Let's watch it again. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon. Sorry, I just like these movies better. They had better... See, this one also had a cast of characters, but they did things with them too. Like, the snake guy, he's the best buddy of the wolf guy. And the shark guy, well, he's so quirky and cool. And then there's Aquafina. I know Aquafina suck. And then the piranha guy was also just like fart jokes or whatever. But, but, and then the hot girl wolf. Like, you all remember the characters for one reason or another, whether it's, like, a bad reason or not. This one, I just remember, like, the the little nerdy guy. There was, uh, the twins. And there was that guy who's like, yeah, whatever, he's talking like this now. Yeah, whatever. I hated him. Sorry, the cast would just didn't work for me. Make a new lore tier for Shrek the Third and put it there. <laughs> Make your own tier list. We all knew what we were getting into when we made Avi Aroshi. Uh, this bee is a girl fell through and through. You're right. You're you're totally right. Also, by the way, here is a tier list if you want to do it yourself. Oh, but you look kind of look like Shrek. Ha ah, very funny. Shrek is very handsome. And especially when he's human, so compliment. Anyways, uh, rating the S tier is definitely like the hardest thing to do, though. I really love Chicken Run. You have no idea how weird I was about Chicken Run. Just claymation for me was just entirely different than... All right. I freaking love the bad guy movie, but it is a furry me who says that. But is it a furry me? Who says that? Or the animation fan? So it's your fan, yeah. Um, I really like the uh, plot twist at the end, or rather how the scene played out, the fighting scene. Very good. Uh, reboot the streamer. 
<laughs> Every day is a new insult. We need a new streamer. Anyways, uh, and make a lower tier and put Avi in it. How dare you? All right, um. Who are you booing at? I'm correct. Anyways, um... I really love my mind. That is an instant hit. Put some boots. It is very pretty. Oh, I do like the wolf guy. I also really love Jamal in this character. This one made me laugh harder than Shrek 2. Just for the funny, stupid jokes in there. I would actually put spirit in here. Just like nostalgia reasons. This was peak. Okay, maybe I'll put chicken run a little lower. No, I was really weird about the movie. Um, two was pretty good. I loved how it just went in a serious tone. It could have actually, like, like, even when it was serious, it was really funny. Avi, check stream discussions. All right, you guys better have an all-out war in there. Actually, don't. You guys will like each other's opinion and you will enjoy it. You know, in the end, I can never stay quiet for the whole script reading. <laughs> the wizard is funny. <laughs> Literally anything else in the Shrek the Third. Okay, I didn't like it that much going ahead and be like, oh, how can you do this? <laughs> That's funny though. <laughs> McClanky Marks just cheered 70 bits. Man, Abby. This is ASMR. This Hello! Is the you ever spoken. Thank you so much for the 70 uh, bits. Also, by the way, I saw someone follow me called I Am Mouse. I love you. Come back, please. Your name is super funny. I'm sorry I didn't see it earlier. We have been too mean to you all today, Avi. Don't care. <laughs> Honestly, well deserved. All right, what else? Um, I did like this one better because the girl was really funny. Uh, I like this one. Yeah, this is my tier list. Yep, yep. This send it. Send it. Download. Download. And then I'll just wait 20 years for it to show up with the folder. Download. Don't care. Don't care. So don't care. Got you. I'll be try being based for once, please. What do you mean? I am based. Uh oh. It looks like my brow browser broke. Guess I'll be the one Avi sent while everyone else wants to break her. You go, Avi. Thank you, E-Man. You are the strongest, bravest liker. And guess what? I got the grave digger on my side. So, I don't know what this means. <laughs> You're so very adorable and cute. Thank you. Do you want to know my thoughts and opinions on the Shrek franchise? <laughs> okay, are you guys telling me you like the Shane Dawson movie better? <laughs> I do like the fact that um the fucking... Rumble Stilson generally did look like uh, Shane Dawson. That's the funniest thing to say about the movie ever, honestly. And it's because it's true. All right, I'm gonna put in stream discussions, and you guys can uh, feel free to uh, do what you want with this knowledge. Do your own tier list too, if you want. Uh oh, doesn't look like it wants to share in the Discord. The file, file, file. There you go. Well, thank you so much, Shalaski Six. If the grave digger is on her side, I want to be put in ash. Oh my god! <laughs> Why is that so funny? <laughs> Tiny little microscopic wasp cells shaping a big and silly wasp. Thank you. Let's go do the Disney movies. You guys all know this, but I'm a big Disney movie uh, straight to DVD fan. <laughs> They're garbage. They're hot garbage, and I love it. Unfortunately, I haven't seen too many Disney movies that I can call myself like a fan fan. Uh, Pixar. Should we do Pixar's as well? Yeah, why not? Wasps do be making people hate them even more by every chance. I know, it fits more with the brand. Do you guys think it's cringe of my thoughts? Hell yeah! This script won't be finished today, right? No, never. Never again. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Good movie. I like what it did for society. Pinocchio. Amazing movie. Fantasia. Peak. Dumbo. Weird. But I like it. I like it. I love the rap, but uh, the crows are gonna give it like a little bit of a lower rating. Thank you for the follow, guys. Uh, Regal, my unge. 
Um, Avi, are you by any chance a Disney adult? Um, I wouldn't say I'm a Disney adult, and I don't think that should get a bad connotation. Personally, if you like Disney, go for it. I'm not crazy about it, but I love Cinderella 3. I'm very normal about Cinderella 3. Wait, Avi just has these awful takes because it's, um, um, April Fool's Day, right? No. No, what I'm saying is actually true. Ask me this again tomorrow and I'll say the same thing. What about crow? What about crows? Oh, you do not want to know about the connotations about the crows on a Dumbo, genuinely. Ooh, it's a bunch of American history references, not the fun ones. Oh yeah, the racist crows, I forgot about them. Yeah, but I enjoyed the movie. Bambi? I don't remember. Let me put a lower tier. I genuinely don't remember Bambi, except the one of the bunnies also had like the feminine features I was talking about, so I don't remember too much. Bambi's mom died. Everyone remembers that part. Alright. Perma April Fools. You missed the scuff alert. I did? Oh, we can't see. Well, you guys can see now. Oh, the... Oh, oh, okay, okay. I see what I did. Do I see what I did? Alright, hold on. Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. Thank you, though. I need to have, like, an audible sound for the scuff alert. There you go. There you go. That's why. That's why everything was so flubbed up. Alright, have you seen the Dwayne Johnson version of Bambi? I have not. That sounds really funny. Uh, never seen this one. Saludos amigos. Never seen it. Yes! The three caballeros! I love the three caballeros! That's fucking good! Sorry, I got really excited there. The three caballeros and then caballeros. They say we are birds of the better. You guys need to see the Three Caballeros. If you haven't, it is good. They have a Portuguese man, a Mexican man, and Donald. I say man, they're all birds. What? You passed the test or something? The Three Caballeros are very good. It's a banger movie. Really weird, but I love it. This is a guess, but I think she likes that movie. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. As a child, it was amazing. Never seen this one. Never seen this one. Never seen this one. What the fuck is this one? Cinderella, let's go! Just kidding. I thought Cinderella was cool. That's cool. Marks just Up there with Snow White. Like Who's Jurnos? <laughs> My god. Anyways, um, if you haven't seen Three Caballeros, go for it. Do it. Do it now. They talk about actually the history of like, sorry, the traditions of Portugal. Sorry, Brazil. Did I see Portuguese? Fuck. Brazil! They talk about America, Brazil, and Mexico because something about how Disney wanted to have good relations with South America. I don't remember why, but the results are amazing. The fucking missing bird is hilarious. Anyways, uh, Alice in Wonderland, pretty good. Weird. Peter Pan, good. I love it. I love it. Actually, mm, I love, uh, Pirate Guy. Lady and the Champ. I don't remember. Sleeping Beauty. It was okay. I love the Maleficent, but yeah, not my favorite. 101 Dalmatians. I like it. Uh, 101 Dalmatians. Very interesting how they talk about a woman that wants to skin the puppies. They should be stated as war crimes against the Geneva Convention. My dear Liz isn't that bad. Brazil, Portuguese, they speak the same language. They, they do not. They very much do speak the same language as much as Mexico and Spain does. I think. Kind of like how, yeah, you kind of get with the... Never seen Sword in the Stone. Uh, Jungle Book? I don't remember. I never watched Aristocats. Peak, love furry bait. I love Winnie the Pooh movie! I love the Winnie the Pooh movies! They're all so good! The one with the Tigger movie made me cry so hard, chat! You need to watch the Tigger movie. I'm gonna drag all of you guys to see Disney movies with me, okay? I know most of you guys probably don't care about Disney like I do, and probably don't know most of these things. Like, these movies, but I... Sorry, fuck. But I do. You're not allowed to call me little sister if you're not gonna sit down and watch fucking Winnie the Pooh movies with me. And they're really funny. It was a different time in 101 Dimensions, but it was really fun. 
They do not! As someone from a Portuguese family, I can say for a fact, I do not understand Brazilian! Exactly! See? You see what I mean now? They, they're different languages to each other. And it's interesting. I watched nothing but Disney movies growing up, so I feel ya. Okay, thank goodness. You understand me. I've never seen, uh, unfortunately, a lot of movies that were, like, under the radar. Like, Great Mouse Detective, Black Cauldron, Rescuers, The Fox and the Hound. I don't know, I just missed out on those. I really wanted to watch Oliver and, Com and Company, but I never got to watch it. Little Mermaid was really good. I love Little Mermaid. I was obsessed with Ursula. Never heard of Down Under. I love my handsome beast husband. We should binge watch those. Oh, for sure, dude. I love Aladdin. It was cool. I like Lion King. You know, I kind of don't like how Disney ma manipulate my emotions so great. Yeah, every single time I watch a Disney movie, I'm like, No way is this movie gonna make me feel things. It's probably just another movie I can close my eyes with. Nope, it's a movie that I feel so sad about. Or happy. Which unfortunately makes me conflicted with Pocahontas. I really loved ho Pocahontas as a kid. I really do. Now that I know everything about the movie... Like, the s true stories... It's the highest C tier. I'm legally not allowed to put this in B tier or anything higher than B tier. Uh, you know, I kind of don't like how oh, I read this. Lion King is an easy S for me. It really it was a really good movie. You know what? You're right. No. Mm, yeah. I'll think about this list later. It touched me and I did not want it to. I know. That's how I felt about Big Hero 6. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Very interesting movie. I loved it. Uh, but I didn't get a chance to watch it a lot. But even when we did, it's a, like a lower A tier. But an A tier nonetheless. Um, Hercules. I love Hercules. You guys, I love Hercules. I don't know shit about the Greek myths. And I feel like that only made the movie amazing for me. I love Hercules. I love Meg, she was very cool. I liked Hades. He was an awesome actor and he was just evil, but also very fun to watch. I love Hercules because he was just stupid and selfish. And I didn't get why Zeus was like upset. Why um that Hercules was so happy about getting clout until I became a VTuber. I'm like, I get it now. As a kid though, I was really confused. Like genuinely confused. I was like, what? But he's a hero. He has merch. That's awesome. Real, I can karaoke every song. Yes, the songs were amazing in there. I love, I will love it for him. That Meg song. One day I'm in love. That song, amazing song. Mulan, I love Mulan. Mulan was a movie that, that oh, it, it gave out the best meme about the fucking light. So you're not saying you're a clumsy tomboy? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not a clumsy twink? I can't believe I was in love with a woman. That was a good meme. And for that, it's a good movie. It was a generally amazing movie. What's your least favorite movie? Why though? That is true. I feel like a lot of like movies here are peak. I actually really hated the Toy Story movies. Um, What was it? After remember which one it was whatever we'll find it later we'll find it later where is it toy story 3 toy story 3 got me shook dude i thought i was gonna hate it because it's a sequel or a fourth sequel but i actually hated toy story 4 i really don't like toy story 4 it's pretty but i just didn't like its existence and i hated that stupid spork and i yeah i can't believe i wasn't bro love with a woman it's so funny what else? Um, I hated Ralph Reg Breaks the Internet. Uh, I have really bad memories around the movie, but we're gonna put that in F tier. I love Cars 2! I love Cars 2! Cars 2 was amazing! And all of you guys who say Cars 2 sucks, I simply blind. You guys are bl led blindly. By people who say Cars 2 sucks. Feels weird to include the Pixar movies. Should be it's in, in its own list. Do you think so? Probably. I didn't realize how, like... Much movies both of these combined would be. 
This can't be the first line I hear coming into the stream. Well, it is. I love movies. Uh, Fantasia 1000? I don't know what that is. Rick and Ralph. Rick and Ralph. Good movie. I love Rick and Ralph. Very good movie. The plot twist had me shook. Like, actually shook. Tarzan was great. I love uh, Jane. I was really weird about Jane because she was so cute and pretty and she was in a dress and then later in the movie she was just in a t-shirt. She was so adventurous and cool and ugh, I was in I was in gay love with uh, Jane. I wanted her to be mine and and uh, Tarzan was so stupid and cool and amazing and weird and I like him. I was in gay love with him too even though I'm a woman. Never watched this, but I saw a little bit of it. It was really good. No! I love the Cars 2 movie! I don't fucking care what anyone has to say! It was fun! It was different! Cars was violent as, as fuck, which was the only reason I liked it. The second one or the first one? The first one was really, like, interesting. I liked the tone and direction. I love Cars Emperor's New Groove! Sorry, I called it Cars. I love Emperor's New Groove! Up there! For a good time! Atlantis, good movie. I loved it. I loved it. I only watched it recently as an adult and it's a good time. Lilo and Stitch, I love it. I love my representation for people of color. So, do I need to share the Cars 2 video about how it's about eugenics? Yes, it's really weird and they talk about it and no one seems to care about it because they're like, well, they just made a dumb sequel to Cars franchise. And it's like, no, they, the Lemons, they had a whole conspiracy theory and they did, a car died. Cars 2 was very violent. Should have specified. Yes, yes. It was really weird and I loved it. Anyways, uh... <laughs> do you guys think she... I don't know... I don't know if my mom cared about, like, what sexuality I was. I, I never verbally expressed how I felt about movies. Which is why it was so hard for me to buy for me anything. Uh, Treasure Planet? I actually did recently watch it. I love Treasure Planet a lot. It had a father-son thing, which makes you really high on the tier list. Just like Mulan did, technically. Also, it's fuck ecological life-saving tech. Was it? I mean... It was like a... I mean, you're not wrong. It was weird. It had a weird... I actually really like Brother Bear. I know it had a whole problem with, like, the whole Native American thing. Putting them all together. And, like, how... Um... The person of color was mostly a bear and you know that had its problem as well but i really liked it because it had a sibling movie and it was my first sibling movie i watched and i was like Ooh, the baby bear is precious and sad and i was i'll put it in a b tier but i won't tell anyone with that being said where is it oh where's brother bear too I guess they don't remember Brother Bear. Um, yeah, it's okay to disagree with peak opinion. I mean, I knew I could do for you. Treasure Planet was one of my faves. You're the best. Yeah, I watched it recently, which was a real shame because I finally had Disney Plus for my family. What? Avi's having problems stating things she wants? I would never have known. <laughs> So, Brother Bear 2 was, wasn't made by Walt Disney Animation, but probably by Disney Toon Studios. That's fair, it was a direct movie thing, but I actually really liked it. I, I thought the girl characters were hot. Home on the Range was weird, but I enjoy it for the main characters. The main bad character bad guys. Even though the cast of ladies was way older than like, literally like most of these characters. Like, it was just a movie about, like, a sitcom of just older women just having their moments. And I liked it. I really loved Home on the Range. Unfortunately, a lot of people do not agree that Home on the Range was a good movie. But I thought it was an amazing time. Milfs, you say? Boo, you have an opinion. Boo! Oh my god, you're so right, huh? Also, hi, I hope stream is going well. Thank you, I hope your day is going well. I know there was a lot of April Fool's stream today. So, MILFs, yeah, basically. Except they're cows and, you know, they're cow. But I love it. I love the movie. It was very nice about a country boy, a country girls living their lives. I love it. I, I don't know what to say. I just love the movie. Um, check it a little. 
I didn't like it that much, but it was a good time. Meet the Robinsons? I haven't watched it. Sorry. Bolt? I love the Bolt movie. What better movie than an animal, a, a dog, a girl and her dog? Maybe we feel like a bitch. These are peak, peak Avi informed opinions. Avi Fool's Day. Evil Fool's Day, right? <laughs> oh, I wish. I love Princess and the Frog. Again, another movie about people of color turning into animals. Winnie the Pooh movie, peak. Both of them. The recent one, though, was hilarious, though. I got a chance to watch it in theaters. It was so good. Tangled? Amazing movie. Great movie, actually. Not my favorite, but I can see why girls love the movie. Mid? I love the mother. A movie about narcissistic, terrible mother. Based from your honey love. The, the, the. No, no, I really did like. This is my honest opinion. Tangled was mid. Who said mid? Everyone in the audience. What are you talking about? They had a mother that was a bad woman. An evil woman. And the, and the love interest? The love interest, uh, he was great. And, um, yeah, the moment at the bar was mostly, like, probably the, the main splitting reasons people disagree. But I love Tangled. Tangled is all right. Great movie all around. Yeah. Tangled banger. Wait, what did you say was mid then, Kiwi? Uh, Tangled was not mid. Poo good. Poo was so good. The bar scene was awesome. Yeah, it was great and a really good time. And uh, I just love just the fact that they came back at the ending too to save her or a film, film writer when he was uh, imprisoned. It was wonderful. The horse was the only interesting character. Of course you would like the horse. Shut up, you need to rewatch that movie again. What do you mean Pooh was mid? They had the whole secrets about the not thing and that thing was really funny. Did you, do you at least like the uh, Tigger movie? Oh, three minute ad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't warn you guys. All right, we're gonna go for one more hour and then we'll end stream. Yeah, probably like another 30 minutes. No ads! <laughs> there are gonna be people that are behind the ad wall. Pooh was not mid. I'll die in this hill. Pooh was great. I watched it when I was like, what, 14, 13? Okay, Avi, I'm asking this for my friend to make fun of him later. What do you think about Frozen 1 and 2? Where is it? Where's Frozen 2? Oh, there it is. Hated it. Where's Incredibles 2? Fucking hated it. Hated it. Hate it. First one? Peak. I rewatch this movie every year and it never gets old. I love The Incredibles. And it gets better every year. I'll fucking get you. I just didn't like those movies. I just got bored. Um, Frozen 1. I liked it when it came out. The plot was amazing. But after rewatching the movie and then you had to see Olaf again and then I fucking hate Olaf. But I really love Kristoff. He was really adorable and hot and handsome. Let's see. Wow, she is throwing punches. I don't know, I just hated the two sequels. Fucking, uh, when I watched this movie in theaters, it was like the ultimate gaslighting of myself. Why? Because in the beginning, they're all like, we like fun. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to say anything based while the ads are playing. Whatever. We like 14 years to make you this amazing sequel. It's like, you didn't work 14 years on this one. You at least worked on this for like maybe six or four years. You don't have to lie about that. But, but why are you just, and, and we want to thank you. We want to hear a big thank you from you guys. And it's like, I don't know. I, and then coming into the movie and the the new characters that are introduced, their design was ugly as hell. I'm saying it. Only the green haired or green suit woman was cool. Everyone else looked ugly as fuck. They didn't look like they belonged in that universe and I hated it so much. Elastigirl was hot. Her ass looked fine. Of course it did. It's Pixar in the new age now. Um, The Bob... The Incredibles 2 went unfathomably hard. I nearly cried when Bob was just trying to be a good dad and getting overwhelmed by the word spoke volumes. 
I'm so happy that I connected with you, Jax. Unfortunately, I fucking hate everything else about Incredibles 2. I actually hated uh, the ending too. The fucking uh, thing where they try to talk about technology taking over the world or whatever. As a dimmer. It was an interesting plot, but they didn't really go anywhere with that screensaver or whatever. And I fucking hated it. I just hated this movie. I hated The Incredibles 2. And I thought in the in the when I came out of that movie that I loved that movie. That it was fantastic, actually. I was just a little annoyed at the family parts. Which, you know, me, I just get annoyed at baby bits. I, whenever I see, like, sometimes when I see, like, baby movies. It's either a hit or miss for me, and I don't know why. Okay, I'm now joining the side of hating Gobby's opinion. <laughs> I miss my fellows with no subbies. I knew. But they're back now. Incredibles 2 does not deserve an F. It looks beautiful. And I thought it was gorgeous. Of course it's gorgeous. They, they invest so much technology since then. But I hated that movie. I fucking hated that movie. I hate it. I hate it. I just do. And I... I wish I can like it. Everyone else loves the movie. But I hate it. And I love Incredibles 2. I love it. And I wanted to like the second one. And I thought I did when I came out of the theater. But my brother and I watched the theater together. And we, I think my sister was there too. Um, and we all walked like fucking four miles to watch that movie. And we walked, we walked four miles back home. From the movie theater. Because we don't have a car and our mom was so busy. Um... And like that entire time we were walking home, we were like, yeah, I really like the movie. The movie was really great. I had fun. And then later at the end of the walk, we were like, mm, I don't think I liked this movie as much as I did. Mm, I think this part was okay. Mm, I like the first one better. And then, mm, I don't know. I had a lot to live with with the first one. And just, it just didn't hit home. And then, eh, that villain plot actually really sucked. I fucking hate the side characters. There you go. That's my opinion on Incredibles 2. I really wanted to like it. I really did. But I hated it. For Edna Mode alone deserves the... Yeah, she was pretty... She was pretty good. But sorry, she couldn't save the movie. Uh, putting it below Chicken Little. I know. I know. Also, I feel like Toy Story 4 doesn't deserve to be that low. I'd argue it has a unique space for exploring the what comes after story element. You don't get often in these stories. That is true. However, I do have younger siblings and I have to... No, no, I shouldn't say that. No, that's an excuse. I hated the spoon. The spork. Actually, I really do like the spork. But I don't know. I just didn't like the rest of the movie. I just didn't feel like it should exist. But if you feel like it did, I totally understand why people would like it. I just hated Bo Peep. I don't know. I just didn't like Bo Peep and Woody. It made me sad. Oh well. Now nah, put this wasp in a dishwasher. <laughs> this is not funny anymore, Abby. <laughs> it's so funny. You guys are <laughs> you guys are just gonna be like, boo, go back to reading the B movie script. We like it better when you just read from paper. The funniest part of the stream is trying to tell where the joke begins or ends. Oh no, I'm a thousand percent serious. These are a thousand percent of my opinions. I love Big Hero 6, but again, uh, I mentioned this earlier. The ensemble of cast I really wanted to like, but I don't know, they were just kind of boring. So I'll put it at like C tier. The death, the beginning half was really amazing, but I don't know, I just couldn't get behind the other stuff. B movie script, cat sitting very comfortably around campfire with his friends. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, uh, Konal. Honestly, I'm not ashamed to say it, but god damn, Mrs. Incredible was insanely kicked up. Yeah, um, yeah, she had a fat ass. I was staring at it, I was staring at it the entire film. Very good movie. I, I, I appreciate how they made her fatter. Anyways, yes, Big Hero 6 and C. I don't know, I just really like, I wish I had more connection to the background characters because they had really good design. I don't know, I just thought it was kind of okay, but the movie as a whole was good. The the villain really didn't make sense. This is the one thing I unfortunately agree with Shafferless on. It was kind of weird. But other than that, the brother death was really sad. Baymax was a really cool character. I love Hi Hirodashi. Hiro was really cute. Ta Tanadashi was hot. Sorry, I mixed up the name. Hiro, Hiro was cool. Tanadashi was amazing. He died. That's all. That's all that sucks. 
um hero was cool i love it genuinely inspired me when i was uh, watching it as a kid i was like damn i really should be an engineer then oh <laughs> go read the funny paper Robbie. i would say b at least nah watch the movie again rank up and wally okay Peek. I fucking love Wally. Even the human bits. No one really likes the human bits, but I really enjoyed it. I really did. I enjoyed 100% of it. There was a time I could say the entire movie when it was playing out. Even the music. Get up your Sunday clothes and throw the world out there. My issue with that for a sword with that wanted to be a whole. We work together as a team. They solve their problems solo and don't really form a team dynamic. Exactly. There was a lot of things you could do with a college hero uh, team and just a silly little uh, high school boy team. But eh, it didn't really feel anything. But they have a show, so maybe they fix more with that. Good God, fucking yes. Yes, finally. Good. Based. The first right take in three hours. What are you talking about? The Incredibles is peak, too. I want to watch the movie with you to actually to actively ruin it for you. It wouldn't be that hard, honestly. I get so immersed in movies. I'm so picky watching movies. That's why I don't watch too many of them because I'm so annoying. I'm really annoying with them. As soon as someone's like, wait a minute, what about this? I'm like, shut up. Let me see if the movie will answer this in a couple hours. And if not, it's okay. I already forgot what the problem I had with the movie is. Anyways, what the hell are you talking about, Abby? <laughs> Actually redeemable. Abby understands peak. Yeah, the robot love is forever. I will forever disagree with any and all haters for Wally. No, dude, Wally was peak. And they had, um, Vion Rose, Louis Armstrong, the better cover. A non-French person. Wally is a one movie pretty much everyone loves or at least likes. It's weird. I don't, I don't get how people don't like the human parts of it. That was essential to talking about the morals of the story, which is humans having convenience at all times. I don't, and then the part where they save the babies at the end with each other was very cute. I like that scene a lot. That was really funny. Um, like in a funny, good way, because oh my god, it was amazing. Um, I never saw Wally. <gasps> oh, it's a 10 out of 10 movie. Lol, everyone hitting Avi up until this moment. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was right here. You know, Wally has a. You know, Wally has a very little dialogue, and yet it is amazing. Yes, and especially with the captain's side plot, too. It was amazing. The Three Caballeros, you spelled it perfectly, is up there. Is up interesting. I really do like the movie, but it is mostly just mu music videos together. And you know what? I fucking love it for that. It taught me the thing about what we do every day for Christmas. Every year for Christmas with the Mexican bird. And they taught me about Brazil. And the Brazilian life in there. So that was a good movie. Um, the Three Caballeros, they taught me about the, uh... What do you call them? Los Pasados? Los Pasados? And it was great. I really needed that education. Um, this was very funny, not gonna lie. Thank you! I didn't... I, this was this was 100% serious, by the way. I am not a joking fella. Weird. What does that stream title say? Hmm, I guess stream will go on forever. <laughs> oh shit, you're right, huh? Um, um, um. But weren't the humans all fat and goopy due to no gravity? Yeah, and you know what? That was a good movie for that because like they literally had machines that did everything for them. They didn't need a reason to get up anymore. And like they didn't insult the fact that they were fat. Everyone saw each other as beautiful or like human despite all that. There wasn't like as much fat jokes as like the regular hollywood would make they take it like a hundred percent serious in there Do, does that make sense hmm they just saw it as the next evolution of human and they're like oh right. mom why do we do this on christmas watch disney to think of it on disney plus now no dude i watch that shit on vhs no no the reaction to you were funny avi you are great i just i respect the not gonna lie <gasps> that is true it is funny having haters all right let's keep rating uh, Up was a good movie. But I have a sibling that really liked it, so it got really annoying for me. Sorry, I'm gonna have to put it at eight here. Everyone remembers the first 10 minutes, and then everything else after that. It was a really sweet movie. And I love the movie, and I love the annoying little kid. I did not find him annoying at all. I thought he was hilarious and funny, because I was literally that kid. And then I love the dog guy. He was really cool, too. But once again, uh, having siblings or cousins that are too obsessed with the movie that, like, you 
you stop liking it is really sad because of a skin movie. But I don't know, I just heard too many clips of it. I memorized it by heart unwillingly. Okay, I actually have a divisive up opinion. <gasps> what is it? Up is a high B for me. Yeah, it's pretty okay. The 10 minutes, like, everyone remembers. But after that, everyone gets a little foggy memory. It gets pretty divisive. That's peak life. Getting up for losers. Give me a floating chair. God. It's so funny that they still reproduce with each other. Am I right, ladies? If it was me up there, um, let's just say that there'd be a robot designed just for me. Russell and Doug are funny characters in that movie. Same for Kevin the Bird. It was very funny learning that Kevin was a woman. It was so funny. I love that scene for that alone. Oh, trust me. There's a bunch of shows and movies that I would put in F tier because my baby father's obsession. Dude, that's what I feel. I'm like, I actually hate, hated Bolt as a kid. Uh-oh. Because my sister loved it and it was to the point it was annoying. But as an adult that watched it again, it was it was good. It was good. Amy. The first 10 minutes are so damn good, but it kind of feels like that movie is chasing that hat. And the plot is all fun. Some great characters, but I'd say like B+. Plus. Agreed, yeah. Agreed about that, dude. It really can't live up to the first 10 minutes, unfortunately. But it was good having going along for the journey of the, the Niagara Falls thing. Especially going back to the uh, older aesthetics. If that makes sense. Exploring a man that is old was really fun. The old man fight scene was weird, but it was fun. B is acceptable. Exactly. B is an acceptable thing. Where is Niagara Falls? South America? Right? It's in South America. Wrong? Is it in Canada? Central America. It's in Central America. Central. Right? Fuck, I've been so... It's in Canada? Niagara Falls was in Canada? Why? It didn't snow in the movie. What? Whoa, I genuinely didn't know this. Whoa. Fuck, I'm, South, I'm in South America now. What did I tell you guys? This is my big plot to make everyone Latina. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Zootopia was okay. Not even I like it, and I love Furry Babe, but I didn't like it that much. I loved it when I first watched it. Watched it again, and it was okay. I love that one guy that's in the movie as the Lion Mayor. He was hot. That's it. Crisis averted. Almost had a rage from seeing Incredibles in F tier, and then noticed upon the second look, it was Incredibles too, Dude, I know, it's so deceiving the thumbnail. I was- I, I knew something like that would happen. But honestly, I'm glad you agree with me, Rudy. Man, I thought it was in South America. Yeah, wait, yeah, then why was- Canada doesn't have birds like that. Wait, no, they were in South America. Canada doesn't have jungles. Why would Niagara Falls be in Mexico, Avi? Because we deserve to have nice things. Teehee. We should have Niagara Falls. It is in South America. It's not Niagara Falls, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so silly. Listen, I'm not saying it was good or best, but D? Uh, it was okay. The plot line doesn't make sense when you think about it for more than five seconds. Um, it's a cop movie. Um, Nick was cool and fun, but eh. The lamb plot twist was eh. The Predator, the, of course, it's good to see this movie like beyond the scopes of a parallel for ours. But I was eh. I was annoyed. And I love the furry bait movies. I have, um... Winnie the Pooh in high tier. I have three caballeros high tier. This isn't very big, but you know what I mean. I have Robin Hood up here. I mean, the land was very much in line with the Noir plot twist. That is true, but eh. I thought it was lame and kind of gay. Not gonna lie, the plot land plot twist was kind of a letdown. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Slight hiccup. You are lame. <laughs> Say it's good. Say I am gay. Niagara Falls? Is Niagara okay? I would love it if Niagara... It would be ironic if Niagara couldn't get it up since it rhymes with the... This is why we are French, Jax. I hate this. 
If the mayor was a true villain, then it would be an A tier. I don't know, they just didn't... The original plot they had, where they gave the Predator shock collars, was really interesting, though. No way could that have gone through anything, like any executives as a Disney movie. But it was such a letdown from what it could have been. I'm back! Are you reading Disney movies? Yes, we are. I'm gonna be honest, I thought Moana was okay. It was okay. I'm sorry. This is where I become unbased again. I really wish I could like Moana. But I don't like Moana that much. I was really annoyed the first time. I... I didn't know. I didn't know. I just stopped liking Disney at this point. This is when I started to stop liking Disney movies. I'm sorry. You guys can call me unbased. I'll give you guys a free boo for this one. I'm sorry. I really wish I could like Moana. I'm annoying with movies. Hold on. I'll give you guys a free boo. You don't gotta do anything. Hold on. I'll give you guys everything. There they go. I'm sorry. I wish I could like it. Nah, I agree. I, I really wanted to like it. I'll take this. This is my burden. And finally... Ugh. Ugh, that still scared me and I pressed it. Also, it's probably about some of uh, Len Manuel's best song for Disney. I said of Encanto. Encanto was... Oh yeah, they did, he did work on Encanto. That was fun. Never seen it. It's okay. You're, you're across the bear is heavy, truly. I know. I'm not much of a fan for Moana me either. It's not up there. And it got though I had a fun time. The first time I watched it, I cried. It is a solid B tier. The mu music was amazing. The siblings plot were amazing, phenomenal. I'll put it in A tier actually, because it was the first movie I watched with generational trauma that I was like, wow. Wow! Oh my god, actually, no. The fucking... The fucking Caterpillar song made me cry. Yeah, it's up there with, like... The most gut-wrenching stuff. So, how much relatable family trauma? Um, it is literally a story about, like, an immigration family, you know? It's like, everywhere! That is the most respectful take. Yeah, the first 10 minutes of Ups was, like, the last 30 minutes of Encanto. That fucking Caterpillar song made me cry. The two butterflies. First movie I watched fully dubbed based based pause. Whoa. She's literally me. Me for me, yeah, for real. Yeah, it was a really nice movie. Uh Raya never watched it, but Aquafina's there, right? Strange World never watched it. Wish never wa What the hell is Wish? Never watched it. I love Toy Story. It's up there with the high A tiers. Like this. It's 2D animated. You're up there. It's 2D animated. You're up there. I love you, 3D movies. You've been a viewer, kind of the weird one. You were like the first edgy thing to me. Uh, this is also 2D, 2D animated. This is also 2D animated. This is also over here. I really love Home, Home on the Range. Can't stand Toy Story. I loved it. It was my movie. Stephanie Beatrice was pregnant when she recorded her songs. <gasps> really? That's crazy. She had vocals, dude. That baby was pushed around in the, around that diaphragm. Which is Disney's 100th anniversary movie that has flopped so badly? Yeah, honestly, the fact that we're getting Oswald stuff this year... Which should have been for last year, honestly. They should have hyped up an Oswald movie or something, dude. I need my boy Oswald back on the big screen. A Bug's Life. I actually really love Bug's Life. And not just because of a bug, but because it was a really cool movie and I thought it was fascinating. And I don't know, it was a weird one. It was one of those weird movies. You're like, huh, interesting. This is weird. I know I wanted to be ants, but I like it. I like Bug's Life. I love Bug's Life. Where do you think the diaphragm is in relation to the uterus? <laughs> but like, it was being squished against a bunch of organ scribs. So... So, like, that woman, that baby was bouncing around in there. You're right, though. I should have known better. Yeah, most of my movie opinions are unbased. <laughs> yeah, even if I have haters, that means my opinions are different, and that's a good thing. I love Toy Story. I don't remember anything about it. 
But it was scary. It was scary to me the first time I watched it. Where did I put the first Toy Story? Holiday. Monsters, Inc. That movie makes me cry now. So I have to put it in A uh, S tier. That movie makes me cry. Unironically. I can't watch that movie normally. I have siblings now. Toy Story 2 had it. It really did. It was pretty good. Actually, yeah, her diaphragm might have been more affected by all that pushed up. Yeah, exactly. Bolt at B. Yes, I love Bolt. Why do you think it should be higher? Monster Jinx will always be S tier. It really is. And it, it even got worse for me when I got older and had like little siblings of my own. This thing too. This thing makes me cry. This makes me think of what is going to happen to my little siblings when they turn like 12, 14, 13, 11. They're not going to be my babies anymore. They're going to have friends and they're going to think I'm cringe. And they're going to not think, not going to want to draw anything for me. They're not going to ask me to play with them anymore. And they're going to be sad. And, but I'm going to always be there for my babies. They're not my babies. I didn't birth them out of my sibling, my, my siblings. I didn't birth them or anything, but they're my siblings. And they're my babies. I always tell them, listen. My mommy sees me as her baby and I'm 21. So you're going to be my baby even when you're 8, when you're 18, when you're 28. You're my baby. Anyways, so cars. Where did I put cars to? It'll be here. Sorry, that moment was too real. I have to ruin this moment now. Cars is um pretty good up there with Home on the Range. Yes, Finding Nemo will forever be S tier. Yeah, it hurts me a lot now. Avi, opinion on Coco. This will not affect me. The first time I watched it in theaters, it made me cry because, uh, fuck. When did this movie come out? Um, my mom hasn't been to Mexico for over 25 years. And I have had the privilege of being able to go to Mexico twice. Three times in my life, technically. Just the first time I couldn't remember. And just the fact that, like, when I took this my mom to the movie theater, um, I saw her tear up a bit. And she never tears up. She usually sleeps by the time the movie actually plays. Because it just looks so much like Mexico. And it has a good place in my heart. And even though there was a lot of hate for it, because um, Book of Life came at the same time, um, and they and the skeletons there look more smashable than these skeletons here. I will say though, I didn't like the Frida Kahlo plot line. It was very boring. I didn't care. But I love everything else about that movie. I love the plot twist about the him being related to the guitar guy the whole time. About Ernesto Cruz being evil. So it is up there with me for Encanto. But I cannot say that the Frida Kahlo was just as impactful. So I would put it where Toy Story and New Groove is. Because this is kind of like where the series start and the funny start to like blend. I should put this over here. I enjoyed this one more. That's not a plot line, a character moment. It was, I don't know, I just didn't care for Frida Kahlo. Get her out of our representation now. We're sick of this lady. I have enough time seeing merch of her. But Coco is a really good high tier. Because it made my mom cry. And happy. Cars being lower than Cars 2 is actually insane. I love Cars 2. You will not convince me otherwise. I'll kill you all. Such a good villain. It really was a good villain. But that one part in Frida Kahlo is such a drag. Pixar's first musical too. Yes, and it makes me so happy hearing uh, La Llorona. Because I did a school project on La Llorona. I didn't know there was a whole song about her. It's awesome. Also, just the remember me line at the end makes me cry when, like, Coco got separated from her dad. Once again, another dad plot and a daughter plot. Oh my god, I wonder where Avi's gonna put that movie in. Pick. I know there's French people in this movie. But, but, Linguini is literally me. Pick. It's up here. Wrong? I enjoy everything about the movie. Wrong, there are no French act. Really? Not even the lady? Not even the narrator? Gusto? Nice, nice. Yeah. Play Story 3. I know it's gonna make me cry if I watch it again because it is a movie about a man growing up and giving his toys away to children and then meeting children and then it's really sad. 
And I love the Barbie movie part, so it is gonna be a high, high... I don't want to say higher than Toy Story 2. But I know that movie's gonna make me cry a lot if I watch it again. My chance to also call on French as an additional nationality? No. No one gets to be French. Linguini is just like me! So Avi is just a person being puppeteered by a bee! No, I'm terrible at cooking and I will kill everyone if I cook for anyone. I really love the Brave movie. I really love it. And I watched it again and I was like, you know what? This movie got so hated on. But I love the Brave movie the first time I saw it. I did not see a problem with it at all the first time I saw it. I was the target audience. And I thought Brave was amazing. It was peak. It was fantastic. Oh my god, Eggy, welcome. I heard I'll kill everyone if I cook for anyone. And you know what? Me too. <laughs> Eggy, you said this, but you haven't died yet. And you're cooking for yourself like all the time. You know what? No, maybe the theory is you've, you've uh, gotten used to salmonella from the food you've cooked yourself with. Maybe it's your friend now. Maybe your bacteria are all mixed, messed up in there. But if anyone else tried to eat it, <laughs> they'll come out of that uh, with some new uh, bacteria in their guts. That's true. I did a cooking, cooking stream yesterday and I lived. Wait, maybe you're right. I just built immunity. You know what? More power to you, Eggy. All this means now is that, that uh, no one can grab your food from your plate now. Does that make sense? I have siblings, so I always grew up with that. I'm going to eat your uh, leftovers or whatever. I guess that would be a bad thing. No one can eat your leftovers then. Well, remember remember when Remy piloted Linguini to redacted joke of some pretty hilarious? <laughs> I know exactly which one you're talking about and it's so good. Brave is kind of okay. I really love Brave. I love my mummy. I'm glad my mummy was never like, you have to wear dresses, Abby. You have to do this. But I love, I loved Brave movie. I didn't think anyone hated the Brave movie. I actually thought it was awesome. Because the girl didn't want to be like the other girls. And she didn't have a male protagonist love interest or whatever. So I thought that was awesome. Uh, Monster University? I don't remember it, but I had a fun time probably. I could rewatch it again. All of them, just like a Pokemon Master. <laughs> Less than 1% of food have Salmonella, so it's just a gacha game. <gasps> really? Is Brave a Brother Bear sequel? You're right, they do turn into bears. I I don't mind people turning into bears. I mean, to animals. I mean, I guess I do mind. I wish Princess and Fro Frog had a more human scene. Because Tiana was still pretty. Inside Out? I actually don't like Inside Out. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I really wanted to like Inside Out. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not looking forward to the sequel. I thought it was annoying. It was okay. Bing Bong was a good part of it. Um, but he couldn't save the movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really didn't like Inside Out. I'm sorry. Also, I have a sibling that really likes the movie, so that also helped to put it in this here. Why do you hate me so? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know everyone loves this movie and there's a sequel coming out, but I just thought it was annoying. I really thought it was annoying. And I'm sorry. You can throw tomatoes at me. You can throw tomatoes. Get those tomatoes. It's okay. <laughs> Understandable. Alright, how many of you guys disagree with this? Go on. Fair enough. I'm just... I don't know. I just... I did like the part at the end where she did try to run away. That part was really sad. And there was just like a... Like, like I know the world building and all that. It was essential to making the ending really, really like... Sad and amazing. The ending was amazing. But it just couldn't save the rest of the movie. The good parts about it was Bing Bong. The ending where she tried to run away and then just cried to her parents. And yeah, it was beautiful. And it did bring the phrase core memory, which honestly I think was really annoying the first time we hear it. I went around to it now. Ah, uh, but yes, for you, Avi. Thank you. The trailer for the sequel looks fishy to me. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't know I just didn't like Inside Out. So I, I, I hope the sequel is good. I genuinely want the sequel to succeed. Fighting Dory hated it. Sorry. Uh, I don't like plots where they're like, I don't remember this thing. And then I remember it. I forgot. Then I remember. 
Because this was the point the movie came out when I had to deal with mental health issues. I was like, hmm, I think there's something wrong with my brain. And I don't know, this movie was like, eh, it was okay. I did like the octopus though, Smash. I am nervous for the sequel. I hope it is good. I hope it is good. I didn't like Dory, sorry. Maybe the memories are the friends we made along the way. <laughs> it was weird. I was having memory issues at that point. Not because anything traumatic... Yeah, something dramatic happened. Yeah, maybe one or two. I'm so sad. Now I forgot my time in water slide events. But it's okay. It's not the movie's fault I hated it. It was my fault. Um, I'm sorry if you like the Finding Dory movie. I love Finding Nemo though the first time. Dory is just the embodiment of ADHD, so I can relate at least. That is good. I'm so glad you like the movie because uh. I, I like the baby Dory though. Baby Dory was really funny to look at. <laughs> she was funny looking, and that was happy for me. Avi had to go through her Metsuko Goku arc, hit her head at some point to lose memories. I was so sad. I wish I could remember everything, chat. And that's why I ask for you guys to tell me your location all the time. The good dinosaur. I actually really like the good dinosaur. I'm gonna be honest. I really like the good dinosaur. It's it's one of my trashy opinions. I have a lot of noise here. I should really fix that. Um, this one's such higher. Higher than Encanto? Okay, fine. Mm, okay, yeah, I kind of get annoyed at Encanto sometimes. Uh, because my siblings really liked it. They really love Bruno song. And that's okay. Cars 3, I really like it. Surprisingly, I watched this in the theater with my sister. I don't know how I made that woman come out of her shell to go to a theater to watch a movie with me. Getting her to do anything with me requires like weeks of planning and I'm not the kind of planning person. So I love car C. I watch it with my sibling. We thought- was it with my sibling or my friend? The only movie I'll be quiet to. Cars 3. <laughs> it was fun. It was a fun movie. I think I really like the Cars franchise. Never watched Onward. Soul made us cry. It's up there with Winnie the Pooh. It's a lower S tier, but it is a really good movie. I would say that what Toy Story 4 wanted to do... Sorry, Toy Story 3 wanted to do... No, Toy Story 4. No, I was right. Toy Story 4 wanted to do. Um, Soul did a lot better. Because it was talking about like the after, after like the what now. This movie made me want to live again. I need to watch this movie, but I know I'll cry. Uh-oh, my phone's gonna die. There. Solved. She related to Lightning McQueen struggled for relevancy and the quest for GF. That was a plot point, huh? They had like a VR thing. It was an interesting thing for a Pixar movie, especially about cars. A franchise no one really cared about to do. And I loved it for that. And I loved it for that. Sex though meter wasn't there, but oh well, he can't win everything. <laughs> April Fools, I swapped your phone for a potato. I love that. Alright. Uh Luca, I love Luca. Fun movie. She might fall out her chair at some point. <laughs> we need a phone charge recharge reminder. Don't worry, I have it plugged at all times. I just forget to plug it. Hated light year. I like the cat. Couldn't save it. I love turning red! Turning red was so fun! I love watching it with my sisters and I love bonding with my little siblings with it. Um, it was an amazing movie, and I I will die on that hill. I feel you. Re I feel you like you really should watch Onward, just based on your liking movies with family things. Oh no! And I heard Chris Pratt is there too, right? Uh, yo! Honestly, I'd argue Lightyear might have been better if it was a solo sci-fi movie. I... I don't know what was going on with Lightyear, but I was just bored. I was bored, confused, sad, lost. I'm like, I could be watching something better. Sorry, I didn't... I'm sorry, I couldn't like, uh... Elemental, but who did? I know there's a couple people that either really like this movie or really don't like this movie. This movie was alright. It was an interesting dynamic. I saw what they were going for. I'm sad it couldn't get a better... Better turnout. I wish I could have liked this movie. Lightyear was a huge disappointment. Never saw it good. I was okay, you're not missing much. Alright, alright, let's go uh, fix this banking a little bit. Uh, obvious peak. Uh, 
Uh, obvious pig, pig, pig. Uh, Robin Hood was pretty good. It would be here. It'd be over here. It'd be over here. Soul probably should be a little bit higher. Oh god, yeah, no, let me put these a little bit lower. I can't be seen like this. Alright, Elemental is definitely mismarketed. Yeah, I wish the marketing could have been better. I wish, I just, I just, Elemental is one of those things. Ah, oh, it was sad, but learning about it makes you sadder. <laughs> just pandemic times, man, right? Oh well, this is my tier ranking. Uh, save, download, download, save. Alright, it's gonna take 20 years for this thing to uh, load up to my downloads. All right, and then finally, we will do, uh, Blue Skies. But I haven't watched a lot of Blue Skies, so it'll probably be very short. And I don't think you guys did either. All right, it is officially 40 minutes. Can't believe Soul literally killed his protagonist during the first minute. Right? That's what got me to, like, watch it. I was like, what the fuck? And even my family, my siblings, we all watched it on our phone. My oldest sister. Oh, my poor oldest sister, dude. That movie gives me a crisis. All right, this this uh, website is kind of broken. I'm too scared to refresh it in case something breaks. Uh, I will I will hurt to see this posted. So it was interesting. I really liked it. It made me want to live. I had such low expectations for it, and because of that, it made it so peak for me. I understand if you guys don't think it's as amazing as I do. Then Sony Pictures Animation. I haven't actually. Oh, that's interesting, huh? Okay, blue skies. Blue, blue skies. There it is. Um, what do you call it? Disney rating. No Gibby list. No, no Gibby list. Unfortunately. Hello, Avi and Chad. How goes the ASMRing? Um, we have left this point to talk about movies because. Nothing hurts people more than seeing my Disney rating. There you go. There you go. All right. Blue sky. Tier list. Oh yeah, I forgot. Blue sky is the is not a is is a social media, and I have a social media. Luckily, this qu this quiz won't be too long. Boom. This is how many movies? Uh, about that. If Avi takes a Ghibli list, Ghibli would literally take Avi's IP. Oh god, would they? She's doing reverse ASMR, making Chad cry! Disney made anyways, it's okay. True! <laughs> um, I like Ice Age. That movie makes me cry now. I never watched Snoopy. I'm sorry. I know it's a crime I haven't seen the absolute peak of media. I loved Horton Years of Who as a kid. I wish I could live in a tiny world with lots of really cool mechanics, so... I never watched Spies in Disguise, I'm sorry. Uh, I hated this one, but I did like the pirate stuff. This one was surprisingly kind of good, but I will not admit it. Pink! I love robots! Robots was a watch here! I love Robin Williams! I love that lady with a huge... ...ass. Robot ass. Blue Sky, rest in peace, bought by Disney. I know, it's so sad. Ice Age 2? Do I like Ice Age 2 more than uh, this one? Yes, because I thought the uh, part with the um, sea creatures was really interesting and scary as fuck. She loves when the robots fuck! Robots is peak, dude. Ice Age, I like that Rudy guy. Rio, I actually don't like Rio, but I know it's making a resurgence now. But I don't know, I just didn't like it. I don't like the monkey element. I love the human part. The human part were my favorite parts. I want more of them. Um, sorry, I just wasn't attracted to the birds enough. But I do appreciate Will I Am being there. And the other guy too. Uh, this one's Continental Dr Fuck, which one's which? Um. Wait a minute. This one might be the sea creature one. I don't know if I watched this. My favorite Ice Age movie is the one with the lady's saber tooth. Uh, give me more of her. Was that this one? It might have been this one. Because I don't remember what the fuck this one was. Epic. I actually watched it. Um, I thought it was cool. But I don't remember anything. I, what? Rio had a sequel? Don't remember it. Oh, there's my tier list. 
I love Rio. Just love burbs. Yeah, I can see why people would love Rio, but I don't know. I just, it, it just hit. It just hit. It just, uh, was a miss for me. <sighs> me, me, me. Anyways, uh, let's go do a uh, Sony Pictures animation. Sony Pictures tier. Sony Pictures tier list. Up to Spider Man Verse 2. Alright. Oh my god, yeah, I know these movies now. Okay. Oh god, this is a bigger tier. Transformania appears twice, so one goes here. Wait, that's so funny. Whoever made this here is funny. But they're clogging this up. Um. E doesn't need to exist. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Delete oh. Literal. There you go. Okay, okay. Uh, I almost feel like Nimona should have been there. True. Nimona's pretty S tier. Emoji movie, let's go! I watched it like once! My personality now. Um, I love Cloudy with a meatball. Chance of meatballs. I literally was saying how it's peak. Surf's up was weird, but... I love the, the little mini plot twist in the middle where they're like, You're the surfer the whole time. S? Yes. Emoji and S? Yes. Wait, wait. I, I bought a ticket there, chat. The theater has never been so empty. I mean, it was finished by Annapura slash Netflix. Oh, yeah, true. They didn't count any of the uh, Disney sequels. Happy Feet was better for Penguin movies. Where's Happy Feet? I actually really liked Happy Feet. Where's Happy Feet? Oh, oh I guess it wasn't made by the studio. Um, I didn't like the second movie as much. That's when I knew that sequels just it wasn't for me. She's playing the April 1st on us this time. For real, for real. I actually... <sighs> They made the Among Us booty cheek ass quake meme, so I guess I'll put it at high C tier. I didn't like it so much, I don't know why. I thought the deer girl was hot though. The Popeye movie died for the emoji movie. Oh yeah, true. I forgot about that, huh? Uh, it has a father-daughter element, but also it has, um... The guy that sounds like this! What was his name? Andy Hamburg? I love the guy! He always sounds like he's yelling like this! I love him so much. I'll put it in C tier. Because everything else is weird. I also love the wolf guy. He was really tired. With lots of puffs. Based. Oh, it was Warner Brothers. Oh, okay. Got you. Hate the Smurfs. Hate the Smurfs. I don't know what this is. Ah, oh, the Christmas S tier. You guys, you all need to watch this with me, all right? We're going to watch this Christmas uh, this year. And you guys are going to see why. You guys are going to see why this is the funniest fucking uh, Christmas movie ever. I'm so excited. What do you mean, no? Also, Cloudy with the Tans of Meatballs was directors of 21 slash 22 Jump Street, who also worked on Spider Man. That is really interesting. I didn't know that. I love it. I actually just wanted to watch it again last night, but I thought, no. Oh, watch it later. Goosebumps 2, don't remember it. I only saw the first one. Uh, Transylvania, didn't care for it. Uh, Spider Man, peak. Don't remember this one. This is when they got married. I guess I'll put it at D. Uh, Surf's up, never watched it. Hate it. Actually, no, this was a more animated one, so maybe I just haven't watched it. Okay, so this is a case where my younger sister likes it. Got you, yeah. The Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? Yeah. Or was it, um, Arthur Christmas? Sorry, Scribs. I apologize. But it's definitely not a Christmas movie I love. But I do like the World War II Santa. Yeah, it's so funny as hell. Um, open season three. Weirdly enough, I, I like this movie. I like the dogs. I'm sorry, guys. The dogs being rabid in this movie was funny. And that's about the only thing I remember about this movie. Like, honestly, uh, Sony, Sony doesn't have too much for this animation, so... I love Wish Dragon. Wish Dragon was amazing. I did not expect it to go where it went, and it was entertaining the whole way through. I might even argue with Test here. Um, but, like, it was really good. When everyone was like, whatever, this is just like Aladdin. Or was it Aladdin, right? But it, it went in a different direction and it was very, very fun. Again, Happy Feet being from Mad Max direct. What the? That's so funny because I love Happy Feet. Oh my God, I'm going to flip a table. What is it, Nick? Spoilers, I haven't... Okay, okay, okay. But you should watch it. I haven't watched this one. We need to watch this, okay, guys? The pirate movie? We need to watch it. Put it on the movie list. I like the goosebumps, but I don't remember it, so I'm gonna put it at a high B tier, low B tier. Did she throw the emoji movie on S tier? Yes, I watched the movie like in theaters. It was peak. Uh, never watched this one. I like that the ending of this movie became a meme. Really funny. 
Uh, hate, hate, hate Smurfs. I hate Smurfs. Why do they make them look like that? Okay, the emo girl was kind of weird. Even even the hot emo girl wasn't hot that hot enough. She's weird. She's fucking weird and gross looking with her weird, like, realistic face. I hate it. Never watch this movie. Pick, pick, pick. I love Mitchell and the Madness. Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell and the Machines. Literally such a good movie, chat. That movie, I was like, dude, I feel seen. I feel seen. She has a loft bed like me. She's weird. She's so animated. She just sees the world and like cute little images. And she has a younger brother who she loves and also thinks also fights with. She she's heartless sometimes. She she didn't mean to. She just you know. And the movie did such a good job treating like not a zo zoomer watch base as stupid. And that's the first time I've seen anyone do that. Face. Listen, just because I put um emoji movie at the low as tier instead of the highest here doesn't mean you should unsubscribe. Also, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Uh, Angry Birds 2, really funny. I actually really like the Angry Birds movie because that one scene you probably seen on Twitter where they try to take a key away from the guy. It was a really fun movie. I like it. If I recall, one of them worked with on Gravity, Gravity Falls. That's amazing. The movie was just so whimsical and it made me cry the first time I watched it because once again, father-daughter movie and I was like, la, la, la. it must be a hoax because she's screaming at me. <laughs> uh, never watched Star. What is that movie? Fucking hated Peter Rabbit. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Um, Spider-Verse? Now, is it higher than Spider-Verse, the first one? I had the thing with the ensemble that I had a problem with in, in, uh... Big Hero 6? No, it had the opposite of the problem. They showed us too little of this, and I cared so much about every single character, and I wanted more. And technically, I can read more if I read the comics. But the first one was so nice and compact, but it it had the problem of the the characters like Penny Parker, Spider Man Noir, Spider Noir, uh, Pig 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 Parker, Peter Parker, uh, Spider Pig, um, like. So many characters, but I only cared about like a couple of them. Everyone else is fun though. Not that I hated the other ones. So this one had a really good one. The ensemble was really good. This movie gave you Miguel, the legend. Wrong? Honestly, I like the second more in the same way I like Empire Strikes Back. Just upping the stakes and emotional bits. Yeah, it really played to its strengths in the second movie. And um, it just left me wanting more. The, se the first one, it was like, yeah, I can be satisfied with finishing it. And even before the second one was released, I was thinking, I wish I got to see more of Penny and and, and Porker, poor Spider Pig and, and, and Noir. But this one made up for it a thousand times more. Alright, so um, this is my ranking. You guys can screenshot this out here. <sighs> okay, I think that's it. We're not going to do Ghibli because I haven't watched all of Ghibli. Just because I let it put it in no S tier. <laughs> uh, what movie do you want me to add to the list? Uh, what was it called? This one. Do you guys know what this movie's called? This one? This one? What is this movie called? Mitchell vs. the Machine is S tier. It's basically AF. I really do love Mitchell's in the Machine. It, all, it had a lot of things to say. Or rather, not a lot of things to say. It finally got rid of the whole, Ooh, technology is bad! Because they had like, bo not whole boat side things, but like, you know, You've been there where someone was on their phone too much and like you just want them to live in the moment. But you've also been there where you're like, well, I can experience the world through my phone. Even in both sides, most likely. And this movie is really good. Yeah, the yes, but actually no movie. Yeah. Spider Pig will be in Beyond the Spider-Verse. Let's go. Anyways, yeah. So uh, that's my count. I really love Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I love Mitchell's Machine. I haven't seen this one yet, so I'm going to put it back here. Um, yeah, this is it. Giant, oh my god, the fucking giant Furby was the funniest thing. I loved it. It was a good movie. Really good movie. I wish it could have had a theatrical release because I would have watched the hell out of that. I would have bought all the tickets. Bought all the tickets and just watched it by myself because no one deserves to watch it but me. 
It, it's literally like a, oh my god, I see myself. And I never feel like that with quirky main characters. Like, as strong as I do with her. It was great. Uh, okay. We're gonna go ahead and raid, uh, chat. I am tired of yapping. I will go ahead and now rest my voice. My beautiful, awesome vocal cords. But yes. I love Mitchells and Machines. It's genuinely a movie that I can say reached my heart. Okay, let me exit out of full mode. Yeah, so there's my movie sound. This was a fantastic stream. Don't worry, chat, because next time we're going to go ahead and rank all the movies of the of the best pictured movie winners and rank them. <laughs> Just kidding. But you didn't finish the script. What? Who did that? Huh? Mods kill him. Finally, torture is over. I got here late. It's okay, Mara. Thank you for the stream. I'll be having a nice rest of your day. Uh, hope you rest well. Thank you. Didn't have a sound of ASMR, but it was enjoyable. Yeah, sorry for uh, giving up on the script so early. I was just like, dude, this is fat. This is a fat script. And you know what? We'll watch the B movie to make it up for you guys. Clearly, I have to start streaming to make my own list. You do. You do. You should. You should have controversial opinions and post about it on the internet. To uh, film Twitter. Wow. Why did that sound so sarcastic? You shouldn't have. Aww. You shouldn't have. Oh! <laughs> Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Blue Paws. Unfortunately, we I will never change my opinions on this. Until I see the other movies I have not watched yet, then I will change them. But I will promise you, Emoji Movie will be always S tier. It is so garbage, dude. Emoji Movie was garbage. It was... It's, um, it's crazy how the same company that made Michels and the Machine made the Emoji Movie. How embarrassing. Anyway, sorry. Enough trash talking. The obvious trash talk winner. Obvious peak of cinema. Grease 2. I've actually never watched Grease 2. Or finished Grease 1. Eh. I'm too lazy. Anyways, I think I will go ahead and raid someone else. Um, we will go raid. We'll be raid. We are going to raid. We're going to raid. Hold on, let me see. What will be the raid message? Simply a uh, wasp raid. Okay, we will raid Rora. She is having a good time. Reading the gospel by Gen Z, and I don't know what that means, and I'm kind of scared. So we will find out together, chat. We will find out together what that means. So there are all my socials. Thank you so much, Grips. I appreciate you so much. There's my Discord as well, where you can check me out if you want to argue about any of these movie tier lists. I do want to watch more actual, like, non-animated movies. Because I watched, um, a lot of movies with you guys. The Train movie, the Drive movie, and I thought, wait a minute, movies could by uh, live action could be good. So yes. Um... Thanks for the chaos today. Thank you guys for sticking by me, even if we didn't finish the ASMR. This is way more exciting, anyways. Anyway, slash raid. Aurora. ATF. Alright, we're gonna raid Aurora. She is a cool corn VTuber. We've seen her before, but this is my first time I'll be able to read her back. Uh, I'm very excited for it. I'm very excited for it. Why is there so many of you guys? Stop that! <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Uh, I hope you guys see her soon. She is an English and Spanish speaker. Um... What is she doing right now? Uh, she might sing, so the avon might be gone. Exciting is one way to put it. <laughs> no, Nayu, that's not gonna be the raid message. That's too funny. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>